Uncle Ben? Here. Hey, look, it's it. Hey, look, it's it. Hey, look, it's it. Hey, 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 hey. Obama. 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 Uh, uh. You look like you were getting primed to do something, and then Dude, you just didn't. You dropped it. I what just got doing? sent one where uh, I don't know if Trump was doing the disturbed, like, Mommy, don't do it again. You know, I'll be a good boy. Like, I swear I just got sent something where he's doing something where I'm like, I don't well, listen to this. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, you remember that one? I remember that. That's real. Yeah, that's, like, a, that's a real recording. I thought he was doing the disturbed, like, Mommy, don't do it again. I'll <laughs> no, be a I good know. boy. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the context was. I don't remember that speech really at all. I think, I'm think i assuming it's the same thing as he, he's at multiple rallies. He kept doing that one joke about like a, a girl lifting weights or something, going like, ah, ah, ah. And I think it had to do with like shitting on trans people or something. I oh, mean, I don't know. I, I've seen the thing where he like openly said he'd kiss a man. That's like a real, real thing. I don't know about what you guys are saying. I know he like, I'd kiss that guy. I wouldn't enjoy it too much, but I do. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I do like, remember that's that. Real. I, remember I do remember that. Like, all right, you, 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 you're yeah. speaking to the wrong group. You got to be quiet, bud. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're messing up, you're messing up your, your energy yeah. right now, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, welcome, welcome to Snark Tank Podcast. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, remember, go to patreon.com slash Snark Tank or else we'll kill you. Um, uh, don't say that. What do you, is this other, what do you mean? Yeah. Don't. Well, just, just give us money. We don't have to hurt you, but you should give us money. We will kill you, but. No. Ooh. Okay, no. we won't. We'll, 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 like, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's all I needed is me to be exempt from it. Yeah, he won't do it. Yeah, he, say he, I, sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you're gonna help me. I mean, I might. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. Fence sitter. Fence sitter. Patreon.com slash Snark Tank. Uh, Snark Tank dot shop for merch. There's some new stuff coming. I, uh, I just finished a pretty good draft of of something that I'm pretty excited about. So that'll be in the in the coming week or two. What should yeah. be up? Would it be f okay? Now I, I have an idea for merch, right? Yeah, it's an it's a merch shirt, shirt of Chris kneeling on my neck, right? And we're not doing that. That's kind of funny though. You know, our fans would like that. I think that's mad funny. Get the f Do you know how many people that we don't like would jump onto this podcast? But it's funny as hell. But it <laughs> it's funnier I, than I shit. Oh, I we're, forgot that we're, that has to Where work. did what is Snark Tank? Oh, I think what these guys. Again? <laughs> <laughs> what that is? What, what that is? <laughs> what that? What that is? God damn, we got the that that funnier than that. That Raygun got Tom for me, man, that and that Tom Sweeney a good one. <laughs> Crit Reagan. Yeah. Crit Reagan, pretty that good. Crit Reagan, pretty good. <laughs> hey, 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 what, what was that podcast called again? Recently. How, <laughs> how, 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 even three minutes. That's a record, I think. What Outside of the fact that when we started the show, like with the, with the meme edited in the intro. Right. That was the fastest we've ever, we've ever gone to it, I think. I think it, I don't say it anymore, but I think it all the time. It's really, it's genuinely a problem. Whenever the word why comes to my brain, a whole scene gets played again. It's when, a good, I'm like, damn. It's a, it's a good problem to have though I, I, yeah i it's mean better than being shot at look man i the first thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah the first thing that i do on twitter i get on twitter the first thing that i see is the act man in wyoming and then there is a stagecoach with horses and a red dead reference that's the first thing that i see like i'm telling i can't escape it you're, 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 like, you're, first of all why is the act man in wyoming what the fuck's going the on the algorithm there? Know. knows what you want buddy it it does. I think it really does. That's why every time you watch a video and then it randomly selects like something algorithmically, it goes to Biden and Trump singing that Chinese song. It won't stop. And I've like acknowledged it. I'm like, show me something else. And then it goes back to I watch it full every time. I watch the whole thing every time. I think that's why I keep getting it because I watch. If I see something funny, I watch the whole fucking thing every single time. Like, you yeah. cast it to your TV. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> this content. Well, it's pretty I good. With a big smile on my face. I want to watch Joe Biden and Donald Trump sing sing the Chinese song in surround sound on a big screen. Yeah, that's what I want. I want. I show. <laughs> I want a video of Biden admitting that he specifically shot at Trump. That's crazy. I did it. I From did it. States away. You see, I'm, I got this ability where I can I can control bullets, right? So what I did is I stayed in I stayed in uh, 
I was in New York City. I was on top. That's of already too coherent. Yeah, I like I can already, it's already too, I understand what you're I saying. You on, don't sound hoarse enough. Yeah, I was yeah, laying on my belly. No, like, what I no, did was old I, man horse. Like, I, can't, uh, uh, I was uh, laying on my belly. So how I old was, can horses get? Um, like, I think they can live about 230 years. That's not all true. right. That's not case true. closed. That's it. This misinformation station, bro. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? I've specifically seen. I specifically lived with a horse that long, the, and I it saw, died at that year. I, I am three hundred years old. My horse is two hundred forty-five years old. I lived the whole time. Of- <laughs> there's, there's that inst- instinct again. Did you see? It? That's that instinct again. It Where the louder you get, the closer the mic you get. It's the opposite. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> That's so strange. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. <laughs> it's very fun. like it's so interesting. I like it. But you're on inverted. <laughs> <laughs> your settings inverted are inverted. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I'd play Halo with our friend Whiskey. He would like change the settings, and I would play after him. And I'd be like, "Dude, what's happening? Why is everything wrong?" <laughs> Colin plays inverted too. Why? Psychopath. I don't get it. I don't know. Psycho. I really don't understand Did he play it. Goldeneye only as a first game. Is that why he plays inverted? I don't know, but he's a he's a two D guy specifically, and I actually think like because he talks about like how it's like. He, he, He's pretty open about the fact that he's, like, he's very, very skilled in 2D games, but like 3D games is like a little bit less so. Mm. And I actually think it's genuinely because he plays inverted. I, I would think so, too. He might be an amazing video game player. The only if he didn't play inverted, he would be a Valorant champion. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so strange. Like I can't. The only time is, is in flight just because I'm do, like flight simulation. Just, like yeah. that's the that's only time I can up. do it. And when when sometimes it, like I think I was playing like Battlefield something w- w- I don't know which one five or I don't there's a lot of which them. one I played uh, and then it wasn't inverted and I was so confused at first just like I was doing like a dog fight and I'm like I, I didn't understand yeah. what was happening I was like wait what's <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> your it, brain like freaks out there's something about inverted controls or it's like I I understand it in a plane because planes. Are inverted. Yeah, yeah. Like you do pull back to go up and yeah, stuff. Like that's yeah. how that's how a plane works. So it's like intuitive there. But then that's the argument used for like in general play for a lot of people where it's like, well, if I'm if I'm looking up, I'm pulling my head, uh, you know, I'm pulling my head back. And it's like, I'm like that's not what I'm doing. That's, that's insane. I'm thinking I'm more. That would be like, like imagine if I you're. Think I'm lifting my head, not I'm pulling my head. Well, the, well, the <laughs> thing about it to me up. is like, imagine if your mouse was inverted. <laughs> like imagine, uh, no, like crazy. imagine if to pull, if to move up on the screen, you had to move your mouse down. You'd be fucking ruined. I think you could be fine It'd with be really it, weird. but watching someone play that would be so confusing. Yeah, it's like, just what's what, going like, on here. When I'm playing, I'm thinking of it as the 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 instrument, like say the gun or something, for example. So I'm just lifting my gun up and down. It's pointing. It's not my head. Because exactly, it's really yeah. not your head, kind of, because your head's stationary. Your head doesn't really do anything. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, so, that's how I think about it, too. Yeah, so it's kind of like, all right, so I can't in, invert. I'm like, what? It's just, it just doesn't invert work. everything. It's, invert the whole work. entire control scheme. Now, here's yeah. the thing. Do you think that the the sniper <laughs> that tried to take Trump out at this yeah, rally yeah, in, in Butler, control. Pennsylvania. But your Butler, Pennsylvania, by the way, the the place we did our first Sacred Civils live show. Is that fucking, seriously? I have a key to that city. That's amazing. Not, you know what's even wilder about that? We kind of mentioned this on like a, a sacred episode but like dude <laughs> so ben the editor of our the editor of or one of the editors of, of sacred right and like he handles like some of the the booking for like the travel and stuff especially yeah. for like live shows he's the one that introduced us right i think so yeah, yeah yeah but ben was the mayor of that town until like somewhat recently like the last couple of years so there was a distinct <laughs> possibility <laughs> That our editor for Sacred Civils would have had to like go on national and television and shit. talk about like the fact that Trump was almost domed. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I'm been a uh, uh, reelected mayor, a former Snark Tank uh, manager or whatever. Oh wait, that's Snark Tank. Uh, uh, yeah, Snark Tank symbols. Affiliate to Snark um, Tank, and uh, I saw Donald Trump's head yeah. explode like My, a pinata of some sort. There's an alternate reality. <laughs> there's an alternate reality where he is still mayor and Trump is dead. And I Trump think. is dead. I think that's the only reason Did he survived. Did you guys see the graphs of like how close Trump was to death? It's pretty crazy. It's terrifying, and it kind of makes me like I don't know because because there were a lot of people saying like it was like arguing distinctly that it was staged. Hold on, let me silence my phone. I always forget to do this. But there were people arguing like it was like oh it was staged. I'm like dude, no. Sh- th- Chris Kyle couldn't make that shot. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's gonna shoot his ear a millisecond after he turns. Oh, you mean like that was like staged. on purpose? Yeah, you so, know what I mean. So the, the idea, look, I, I think in I think this is what happens a lot of times with conspiracy theories is that people who are too uh, logical 
are too caught up in the logic of what actually happened and you need to think like them. So in their perception, there was no bullet. Right, right, right. It oh, was okay. like Trump bladed or something like WWE. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like he wake up themselves. Somebody, somebody <laughs> sent me a, a, a video of, um, so basically right behind the broadcasting booth of WWE, there was a guy filming in between the legs of the commentators. Um, and so the... Um, what are you doing down there? <laughs> well, like he just... He just was, I don't know, they, ang they angled the, the thing down, right? So they got it in between the broadcaster's legs, and you see CM Punk go down under the, the commentary table, table, get the blade, and start stabbing his face. And then when he gets up, <laughs> his face, it was so funny seeing, because they usually hide it pretty well right, off a, off camera. Yeah. So somebody sent that to me immediately after Trump got shot. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Like I was, I was one of the people that said I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of tomfoolery or bullshit going on, because I wouldn't be surprised. I I, mean, wouldn't, I, I, wouldn't, would, I would stand by. It just stand doesn't by that. make a good. But, like, but at really, the same time, it, well, he people definitely got shot. He got shot. Oh you yeah, know, like that's some guy fact. got exploded. Some yeah. guys, some guy's head is still probably being cleaned up yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, well, that guy, well, no, that guy's head just did that. <laughs> He was so <laughs> he was so shocked. He, his head exploded. You hear gunshots. You get so scared. President, no, you get a you get a proper physical reaction. No, no, no Mr. President, <laughs> Donnie. That is crazy. The idea that like he thought the president got shot and thus was so shocked that his head exploded. It's it sympathetic. It's sympathetic pain. He was like, oh no, blah. It's like when twins feel like the other one got like oh, a, a twin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you hit your funny bone. <laughs> Dude, totally. That That is actually, that's that wouldn't be, it that's was, not it, so implausible. No, so it's, it is. Of, it is. Think about it. These people have such a deep connection to their boy. Derek, look, I, I look, Derek. I, I was very vocally uh very vocal on Twitter about this whole situation. I was a very uh, uh -huh. very vocal character. You, uh -huh. you, you good? <laughs> you good? Uh -huh. You look you, go. <laughs> I was very vocal about what happened. Uh, it looked like it looked like a Looney Tunes esque skit to me. It was very. It looked like a Mad TV skit. Like look, I was like, this is insane. This it is did fake. look. I I, I, I will <laughs> say anyway. it looked kind of goofy. But there's there's part like the second like. The turn and the flinch is very like I think I just don't think he's an, a good enough actor to have done that well. It's like he definitely like got hit by something. No, and I, he definitely I, got shot. And he lost his shoes, which is w one of the biggest things that I was like, okay. He was like, oh, let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. Let me because, get my shoes. Because uh, that that was a big thing to let that, me know. Does that mean? Does that is that like oh he lost his shoes? Well, no, he, when you get shot, is, your shoes leave you. Yeah, they because they're they afraid. That's what happened. They're like. They should they grow have, legs. They grow legs and like, arms and they run away. It was so I was just saying if it was staged. There's no way he's gonna let his shoes flop off like a fucking like a <laughs> like a fool. Like Donald would have done it in the coolest way possible. Yeah, and look at like, how cool I was. I caught I the say, bullet with my teeth. I fucking <laughs> stopped it. I can did. you imagine? <laughs> look at me. I'm orange like, and on top. It was of things. an honest mistake. There was a little one inch tall little Hamas in my ear, and he, they tried to get him. God bless him. God bless him. They shoot through the hostages, you know. They did really Better, like, wow. But, uh, <laughs> and you know, this was done by uh, Joe Obama. <laughs> Joe, 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 Obama. Joe Obama. Joe Biden, Obama have yeah. the fuse. So, look, <laughs> Biden's on his deathbed, and the ball's like, hey, what's going on there, Joe? I'll give you the last of my energy. I'll give you the last uh, of my energy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the idea of a, of a fucking torment of power where yeah. Vegeta gives to go through the last of his power. Hey Joe, I'll give you all the last I got to be able to take this guy on down. Uh, here you go. Uh, use your ultra instinct, Joe. Uh, the see, the second I saw, <laughs> thank you so much, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> the you. second I saw it happen, I was like, oh, that's real. You know, it did look a little funky, but I also think that's just because, like, dude, how long has it been since <laughs> an assassination true? attempt on the president, like earnestly, like Reagan, right? Well, it was probably a, the last a, one. Uh, a like a an actual attempt that was carried out because people also forget. How many have been thwarted? Well, yeah, there's like a yeah. bunch. Yeah. Don't forget about the, the. There's so many that have been thwarted because. Well, that, well that's uh, also what that's I'm talking what about. It, like, it just, it just, it just gives off. I'm it, this. This happened, right? I'm not gonna say. It, I'm not saying that it didn't happen because a lot of people were like, "You're this is called with just came people's lives." And I was like, "Fuck you guys, they died." Ah, and I laughed about it. Did LOLs, but <laughs> it, this happened. But it just looks so. What, like, what part of it looks like, uh, like the, the part that Melania is like behind him, just recording the whole time, like contently recording 
the fact that he does like he gets the black power fist at the flag at that perfect shot well, it just looks well, a little look at, silly here, to me here's what the first time i saw it without hearing any audio from donald trump i was like that looks goofy what a strange way to react but then he was probably I'm like, in shock but I then think. i was like no 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 this is the thing i actually i my, for i my those thoughts overturned first i was like that's the, that is a strange way to react it, like cuz anybody else would not do that right but no one is donald trump People need That's to remember true, yeah. this true. guy is fucking insane. He's like, well, he's a performer too. He like, told, he's he's dude, from television. Like he gets it. He's television. like, wait, 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 wait. The cameras are on. He did W. He you said know. when they're trying to drag him off stage, he says, "Wait." And because it's Donald Trump, they waited. I think if it was Biden, if he went, wait, 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 they would have just drug his corpse off. You know, like they would have his it corpse. Was <laughs> him. They waited, and then he did his fist. He found the cameras. He kept saying, "Fight." And I was like, that is fucking brilliant. Like, I hate this guy so much, but that was fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's smart I, 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 I think he just has, he just, I forgot what it's called, but he's like, I just want people to think I'm cool. Well, and he has whatever he, that he, is. That, like, he just that has, sealed the deal, though. Oh, he, yeah. has, he has good entertainment instincts. Yeah. Like, that much is very clear. And he understood, he understood the assignment. He got it. He was like, oh, wait, the cameras are on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. You know? And there is the funny aspect of it. It's like, dude, if that, if that happened, if the bullet whizzed past Biden's head... Just whizzed past that. I think his brain would have exploded. I think it, his, his I think skull would have split open. I think the sound of the bullet <laughs> whizzing by... He would have been a force ghost, for sure. <laughs> He's like, look at me. I'm, I'm, I've gone to the great beyond. <laughs> but, but, the, but the thing is, he's already dead. So even when his head, like comes off his body and lands into his fucking his arm... It might still be talking. He's still going to talk. He's just going to... Oh, yeah. Uh, like that, and then it's just, yeah. what a, just business as usual. He just keeps going. <laughs> like it's fucking Beetlejuice. Yeah, he just keeps I think, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, here, there's like maybe like a 5% chance this is all fake. I don't know how much we, I believe that live, really. We live in a world where like Epstein killed himself, right? Yeah. But so, you know, yeah. like, I so guess like, to me, that's, that's to, where my to brain me comes I guess from, I think like, like a lot of it depends on how his ear looks after this you know what i mean uh like if if it really was like heinz ketchup or whatever and then he just goes on stage at <laughs> the next debate and his ears like perfectly intact I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like well he has what the fuck exactly happened he's <laughs> gonna have that bandage on for a while so i don't he's think gonna, ever he's know. gonna be punished fucking punished fucking uh Biden, oh yeah trump. Pu punished trump punished trump and it's gonna be a really annoying next few months well see here's the interesting thing he so far he's already he's really surprised me where I thought that immediately he was going to go hard in the paint as far as like just I'm going to shit on this is I'm going to milk this so hard. And his first statement on true social, whatever the fuck was actually for him, incredibly reasonable. Like yeah. he was just kind of like, oh, I think the secret, even though the Secret Service failed him miserably. Horrible. Oh, the yeah. cops well, that's failed. That too, they, these are these things. Well, right? well no, look, but, but, look, that's, but that is, again, to do with the fact that this hasn't ha this has not happened in so well, long. Yes, Chris, you I know, understand And it's that. going to look goofy to Chris, us because we've never Chris, seen it. It hasn't happened in so long. But that is literally like that's they're trained to do. No, but look, like, look, I haven't been punched in my face in years. Right. But I'm trained to still retaliate with the hit back. Look, you know? it's a capitalist. King, that's people, true. That look, is also this true is a that I'm not a <laughs> secret service person. Here's, <laughs> here's the thing. Because obviously, I think everybody can agree there's a catastrophic failure. This is one thing. The first thing that I thought when I learned that, oh, this is just a catastrophic <laughs> failure. This is what happened. Why was it so wacky? They just failed so miserably. And the first thing I thought was, I'm like, oh, yeah, Uvalde. Uvalde. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, this is sense. just one of those things where it's like, how could this possibly happen? Well, it does sometimes. There are people that these this stupid. They're, let's think about it. To I be, hate the sometimes are so often. It, That's what's confusing <laughs> me. Because I know you're 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 very well, right. Like, you're you very right. You're yeah, not, yeah. You're, well, the thing you're, is, like, you're not going to hear about the, the ones, ones that, that work. You that know what I mean? Exactly. Like, That's a good point. Like, because I got. Uh, like I've had uh, like I think one interaction with like a police officer recently. I pulled over because like a, a light on a car that I was driving was out, and I was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" Start kissing on you and shit. How how to go? Yeah, he molested me. No, it's good. He just got in a seat with them and started fucking him. It's like, what's going on he, he here? He just climbed through the window. Like, he what's just going through. on here? <laughs> Slithered through the window. <laughs> like, whoa, it was whoa. like open this much too, and he was like, "Oh, that's more than enough." <laughs> 
<laughs> but it was but it was fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and it's like yeah. I'm sure most interactions like that are. But like, you, obviously, the cameras are going to come out when it's fucking crazy. Right. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And the Secret Service. I mean, like, I'm sure there's plenty of times where they've done an okay job that we didn't see it highlighted. Yeah. <laughs> and well, that's the one where it's like, Ugh. that is very true. Who, how do, we don't know if like they fucking there was like some guy with a fucking grenade at like 80 rallies that they just fucking they just, you know <laughs> 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 kung fu snapped their neck <laughs> <laughs> it, it was very weird though it was like it, it was a yeah. very weird thing i, I don't think I, I just think to me it's just like it's not really surprising to me that it, it actually is surprising to me that it took this long for this to happen and this is technically okay. the first time that this has happened to a, a person to a president that is not currently in office, I think. Right. I'm pretty sure that this is the first time. Right. Yeah, former well, yeah, as far as we can think right now, uh, at least I haven't heard anything different. Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, I would assume. 100% it was definitely a young man that uh, that probably got very disillusioned by the party because he was a re registered Republican. I don't know. He was, he was a registered Republican, which is wild. Mistaken, right? But what yeah. happened is this, right? He's probably a registered Republican. So he's probably, by the way, let me, let me nip this in the bud, too, by the way, yeah. because I saw a lot of people was like, he donated $15 to Biden. That's not the same person. That's a different person with the same like first and last name. The middle name's different. It's a different person. So like a lot of people were like, oh, he's a rebel well, Republican, like, but he donated fifteen dollars to the Democratic Party. That, it's like that's right. not it's not he the same person. You're right about the confusion very likely, of that. Very likely, he was a young well, person. His, uh, uh, well, go ahead. Who got here this, probably got very disillusioned by the nature of who Donald Trump is. That seems like the most reasonable thing to me. Like he was like, I, oh, I was. He was this. He what do you think disillusioned sort of, him? I don't know. Very, my thought, things here's my only it. thought. My only thought, if we were if we're gonna go with that take, my only thought would be the clear connection to Epstein. Because even more files were leaked recently. Yeah. Look, so like, there's a lot of people that are extremely like, you know, they hate pedophiles. They hate so they and they actually do believe that they're not just blowing with the wind of politics. Yeah. If we're going with this narrative, I would say my only thing that would make me think that's a little bit plausible is that it would possibly be because what us else happened other than like my that thing, was my really thing significant. Is this, my thing is this, right? He's a young, he's a young person. He probably, he probably went to school wherever he went to school. Obviously that college age of your personality itself, you usually get exposed to a lot more different things from being from a different town, you know? Uh, clearly he's not stable because no one that's stable would do some shit like that. But he got exposed to whatever he got exposed to and he was like probably hearing all the shit that was being said back and forth to and fro about the fucking, about Trump. About, I will say about the former president, but about Trump. And he he was like, I got, I have to do something about this. I got, I got to do something about this because no one else does. Because think of it like this, right? If Trump, if, aside from him being shot, this motherfucker got convicted for a, several felonies. Sure. And he might still become the president. Sure. It it feels most like likely, most likely, like like we're fighting a, like you're fighting a fight where like you're just constantly losing Look. somehow. So he probably felt like there's no way to stop this guy. Maybe he went Look. out and probably tried to do something about it. I don't agree with him doing that at all, but like. I could see why someone who's sick would think that's the only way to fix a problem. I, I guess, yeah, I, I don't really know what to make of it because yeah. I, I do think it's possible. I mean, it's po like, dude, like, I don't know how much hatred Biden inspires from the left necessarily. Biden but, doesn't like, inspire anybody. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. but, 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 I could, but I don't know. As somebody on the left who really does not, who, like, dude, like, I don't know, man. I think about, like, how Bernie got shafted so much and how just, like, I resent. It makes my heart hurt. I resent this entire aspect of the party if biden exploded i would i would you know i don't think i would say really anything because i just don't I, I quite frankly i just don't care yeah uh, I understand but mean. like is it possible that there are people on the republican party who are like trump needs to die is that possible of i course. think so of course of course i just don't I, I also think it's possible that he's a registered republican who just you know didn't re-register i think it's i feel because part of me it's like I feel like it must be a left-leaning person, right? Well, you no. know what I mean. No, I, I feel uh, like I look, feel like like how no, is it not? Well, there's a lot of rightoids that hate Trump. There's a fucking litany of no. Them. I know. I, I guess but I just. I, like, guess, I guess what I'm saying is like it's possible to be registered or something and then eventually like kind of change your beliefs and just, I, sure. and just not get around to registering. Though I'm not saying he is. I just like I, I I struggle to imagine like what would inspire a Republican to do that. Not because well, easy like that. That's the whole thing where uh, yeah. there's. We just like with everything negative, that's what we see mostly. So we see all these crazy fucking cult members. Think, think of, there think are plenty of, us, of people. Right? Hold on, man. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> there are plenty of people that are disillusioned on the right that hate this motherfucker because they're actually conservatives. They actually are conservatives and have conservative principles. And one thing that they said in high school, that kid 
where they did these weird exercises, these political exercises, which I think is actually inappropriate, where you were supposed to like figure out what side of the spectrum you stand. And pretty much everybody in his classroom would be um, on the, 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 the liberal side and he would be alone in the uh, the conservative side. And so he, he was an outcast. He was bullied relentlessly. People, you know, they kept talking. They've talked to a couple different uh, people that went to high school with him that he was just a loner, bullied all the time because he looks like a freak. You know, he looks kind of crazy. <laughs> there was like there yeah. was even, there was a uh, some guy that grades faces. I've never heard of this oh guy before. Yeah, Did so you see that? It was so <laughs> insidious. That was crazy. It was what do you so mean? insidious. I hate that like look, dude, the guy tried to that guy tried to kill the president. And like that's fucked up, but also the idea of that thing existing is so absolutely it's fucking insane. And respectful. And that was the first like, time I've ever so, heard of that like, thing. I'm dude, I say such mean shit to people. But I would never in my life think like, oh, this is a proper thing to do to somebody. Of course. I mean, the like, person that's the, fuck, the person that's running that Pretty knows idea. how yeah, awful that, it that is. Kind of he that kn- guy needs to be punched in the face hard several times. To me, he's just he's more <laughs> thorough than that one fucking guy a, that like, was doing the uh, like, oh, you're you're not a man because you're leaning on your girl. Remember the the green fucking oh, the lines? Green lines? Yeah. Yeah, 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 like that guy. Like that guy's fucking stupid. But this guy is even more calculated, and to a point where I'm like. That's kind of impressive. What was the grade? Because it's not like he got like it a was thirteen a three. or it was something a, like that. No, he got, he got a three. Out of he got 10. a three out of ten, but he got like a thirteen level symmetry on his face. It was just such well, meanery. I was it's, like, it's just mean. It was mean, but here's the thing: it's true. <laughs> no, it, it really like if you watch the videos, like I know I watched it. That yeah. is, there were, like it's <laughs> obviously mean. That is the whole point of it. The, the whole point of grading somebody's face is fucking mean. But it's a well sourced savagery. Yeah, one hundred percent. I don't even know what I want to get. I don't and even so, know what I would get. I just feel like it, I, I, just don't, I don't have the energy to see that. It got me curious enough to where I wanted to see more videos of that guy. I want to see uh, what he would grade somebody who we deem as like objectively beautiful or whatever. Like somebody was like, "Oh, everybody thinks this person's beautiful." Yeah, like Larry King. They get yeah, like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, like Larry King. Larry King looks like a creature that I've in D and D. He looks like a ghoul. People that play D and D, look up what a ghoul is, or just look up what a ghoul is in D and D. And Larry King has the same physicality as one. I swear to God, <laughs> somebody, I swear, <laughs> I swear. Somebody called me a ghoul recently because I, uh, I said like the, uh, immediately. To be fair, immediately after this this happened, I said, "You got to hold L three to breathe, man." Uh, cause in Call of Duty, you have to hold it to like steady oh, right your breath the- or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was just making fun of like the guy for being a bad shot. You know what I mean? But people were like, "Oh, how could you?" That's a good. That's a good joke. Like, I don't. I don't know what. The people, how could people got? People, the, the dude, how did, could you? Did you see my comments, man? People got fucking salty. I mean, I was like, "Damn." Well, because you said it looked fake, and people. It assumed, does. I'm sorry. Look, it I don't. Does. I don't. Look, I, I don't think I, it looks fake. I think it looks weird. It looks loony. 9-11 looks loony. There's a lot of... That's a, <laughs> but that's the whole thing, though. A it lot looks, of shit... If you look at a lot of disastrous it's not, it's, moments, they look... Lo- my first thought was I understood some people's sentiments of why they thought it could look fake, but then when I thought about it a little longer, I was like, okay, Donald Trump would do something like that. That's the only part that looked weird to me was his photo ops. But then I'm like, that is Trump. As soon as he knew he was okay, he immediately went, I can use this to solidify me to be the president. Because... Before, and uh, many people, because I saw a lot of takes and many people disagree, but I don't think he was locked in yet. I don't think, I don't think Trump was locked in yet. I thought he was locked in. I, just, I don't know I about locked don't. in. I, think, I, think because, he was, I thought he was winning so far, 100%. I don't well, know about he was locked up in. in the, he was up in the polls, yeah. but right, what, one thing that I know that especially the left was going to do once it became election time, a lot of them were going to sack up and just vote for Biden reluctantly. Because they, right now... They're pretty disillusioned. They're like, I hate this guy. He's old. He sucks. He's, you know, he's responsible for tens of thousands of children being blown to pieces in Palestine. But at the end of the day, Peaceless. even with all that fucked up shit, I have to vote for him. So I didn't think it was over. Now, I'm not even worried because people are saying, well, the left's still going to vote the same. Yes, I'm worried about the right that were disillusioned that thought the election was stolen. Now I feel like they're going to hold cognitive dissonance, ignore that, and still come out and vote anyway, because they're going to vote for their fucking king. Well, the problem, the problem, the problem, when that problem definitely spawns back to the left, this whole entire campaign being on, like, stopping Donald Trump. There's no policy right now. There's nothing. That's not, not true. That's not true at all. They're not, they're not spitting policy. Well, there is policy, of course. A hundred. Well, no, there has to be policy. There's well, no, politics. like, they're actually, see, the problem is. And this is, look, I actually, I, I pay attention to politics. I, I paid into they, a moderate they, degree. They actually, the, the problem is, this is the real problem. They, they're all, like, they, they say, they talk about how shitty Donald Trump is, but they're not talking shit. 
They actually need to talk shit. They need to, if they want to get like dumbass edgy, you know, if they want to start like a wave, like what happened with Trump, I feel like they would be best served because they already have everybody that's anywhere left leaning is already locked in. They're going to vote left. Yeah. If they want to get anybody in the swing states or they want to get any, at least um, restore confidence in the people that like hate Biden, he needs to show some type of swagger. His policies are locked in. The proof of what he's done as president is actually kind of impressive. He's actually, I hate to say it, one of the better presidents that we've had. You would only know this if you pay attention. Most people don't pay attention, so they don't know this. They don't know, and they never will know because it doesn't. none of that shit matters. And, and why it doesn't matter? Because if it did matter, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. If people cared about policy, if people cared about actually their well-being. Yeah, people don't care about policy. They really. don't. They and that's kind of why I, I, I agree people don't care about policy, but the whole thing is that, the, how do I explain Here's it? what matters. The, the fact that they've only been attacking Trump on a vocal standing point is what makes it so bad that now him being attacked. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, none I, I of think, that matters. I think that doesn't, put, that doesn't like paint a good picture. I don't think any of that matters. I think what matters is that Donald Trump doesn't, Donald Trump speaks like a person. And Joe Biden speaks like he can't speak. Yeah, he's. I think that's literally the only thing that matters. He's really. charismatic, man. He's uh. It, well, he's also just functional. Like as an older person, he's like a fun. Like, dude, I'm sorry. Even th there was like an interview that Biden gave, like after all this, where like I don't even remember who the fuck he was sitting with, but he was like, uh, the, the interviewer was like, oh, do, what do you, what do you, what are you gonna do if you have another um, uh, debate performance like that? And he goes. Like, <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Go yeah. away. And that, like, oh my god. And that's and that's the it's thing. <laughs> you know, you're right. But I will say though, even like let, let's 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 take Obama versus Obama. let's take Obama versus Romna Romney Romney Romna. Let's play with Obama versus Romna. Romney was fucking a glass of milk. That's right. all he was. He's plain. People were fucking like. Ugh. And then there's Obama. It's also, one of the things shot himself in the foot more than one time. It takes more <laughs> than Biden just being coherent, just being listening. And look, I've listened to, I've I've done enough research to listen to Biden throughout the years, just to really compare it to how he is in these last uh, two to three years. Oh, he's sick. It is fucking night. But see, and that's the thing. You, what? Thank you for saying that because there's still too many fucking assholes that are trying to gaslight people and acting like he's fine. And he's that sick. is. I think that is the biggest problem right now. We're just struggling on this one point. And, and unfortunately, even people that do, dis do that agree with us, like an AOC, knows that, well, Biden's not going to step down. So she has to reluctantly be like, we got to back this guy. And I'm like, there's too many people like us and younger that are like, I'm tired of being fucking gaslit. And so those people might stand okay. on principle and not fucking vote. Oh, yeah, that's very, and, it's very much so going to happen. And I'm just like, this is a fucking, you know what would be great right now? If some fucking chud was so angry that that happened to Trump that they explode Biden. And then they would be like, ha ha. And we'd be like, fuck yeah, bro. What are you talking about? This yeah, is a blessing. Thank you. This is a blessing. I, I would have also, yeah, it would have been like I told you. Is like, that when you need your ammo back in the game and they kill you? And they're like, that's, you that's, did this. That's, that's, you. that's <laughs> one thing. <laughs> That's one thing that I can't abide. Like this, this like moral grandstanding. It's like you should make fun of. Like what happened to what happened to uh, jokes are just jokes, and what happened to like you can't say anything anymore. And like like what the fuck? Because like, give because me a fucking it, because break. Because it's I, I, at I, them. I, I know. I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. But I don't I understand you still that. I point cannot, it out. I cannot take you seriously. One thousand. That's ridiculous. That's fucking dude. Oh, you can't you can't make jokes about political violence, or you can't call for political violence, motherfucker. JFK jokes have been made for years. Well, dude, nine eleven the day after the day of that was being made fun of in the forums. Yeah. I remember and then like even just beyond that do, do you remember when fucking paul pelosi was like yes, beaten with got, a fucking hammer got fucking and everybody was hammer like, making, smashed in the he, fucking face they got bludgeoned with a hammer and everybody was like oh, dude, oh shame, a shame they couldn't get nancy too it's like yeah. what the fuck you don't I, I i don't i do not respect your right to life if that's you like quite frankly, like I just, I you are genuinely it's a lot of people. I dude. sincerely, you, you were that is fine. A lot how much of better? Fine. No, how but much I better would the country be if they were gone? I, no, no, I'm not saying that. I, all I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm saying all, that. all I'm saying is, <laughs> you cannot. I don't it. like. I don't like this blatant hypocrisy. Like it, it really infuriates me. Either we can make all these kinds of jokes, or we can't. 
You can't pick and choose this shit. And if you do, you're a hack. And I do think I, do, I I'm better than you. I do think that. I believe that. F- I do. I believe that so firmly. It's insane. And yeah. there is nothing that you could do to convince me, except for maybe die and have a lot of people show up to your funeral who say nice things about you. Maybe they'll be like, oh, he must have been a nice guy. But like, I'm sorry, like I can't. You are. I, I, I'm like, how I'm am like, I supposed to care? On my on my honest truth, right? On my honest truth about things like that. Uh, my I'm very conflicted, right? Because, you know, uh. People should never be harmed in general. I don't believe that people should be harmed. I don't believe that. But I, at the same time, at the same time, I, I, I live in a world where people do really fuck things. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I think those people should absolutely if, be harmed. If the, if the <laughs> universe writes itself, you deserve to get punched in your fucking mouth. Right. If justice was real, <laughs> if we actually had if justice, Captain well, we, America well, was really also, made. We pretend, and he to be, was re- we pretend like it's like, oh, we can't wish harm on anybody. It's like, do we have any sympathy for pedophiles? Like, do we? No, that's like, the whole I mean, point. I mean, I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm, a, I'm no. a little different there. I had this argument with you more than once about that. Like the idea that like those people that are, they are still wrong for what they did and they should be punished to a degree, but rehabilitation should be the main thing. Right, but do you care if they get beaten up? Do you care if a pedophile gets first beaten of all, up? Okay, my, my, let, my, this, this is why on, I come right, right I don't now. Give hold, a on, shit. hold on, sir. Like, first, the first question is, do you think, uh, like, like say, because from this is from my point of view, I think uh, the people that are attracted to, to kids, that is something that they can't help. I, I do so, believe that and, as well. And, and, and so, just like a gay person, they, they're attracted to the same sex. Do you think that could be corrected through rehabilitation? No, no, not rehabilitation in the means of like that. Rehabilitation, the idea of understanding that what they did was wrong. They know it's not, wrong. Not, no, 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 no. But that's like telling a fucking no, oh, no, a thief no, doesn't no, know they can't steal. No, no, it's not quite the same, right? It's not no, no, yes, it because, is. Uh, no, because they know no, they can't be, fuck kids. No, I understand okay, that, right? Ahead, but ahead, my ahead, argument is the idea is that like what you call it, helping them truly come to understanding that the way they've really acted is because because people what there's understanding sir? dissonance there's, 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 this is how people do things right what understanding because a lot of them a lot of people just have they have their attractions or whatever it is right and though they still because the people because obviously usually people that do that have had that done to themselves and they do things like that because they haven't come to terms with the base that they've experienced in various forms x y and z and i think that people that go through that stuff need to understand like hey, it is not the right thing to do and I just I can't get past that. You you said not the they know it's not right. I think they, they do know it it's anyway. not right, but they still do it right. And I think the yes. idea is that for you to understand what you've done that is wrong, you have to you have to truly come and like like it's 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 more it's more in depth than just being like you go to jail and you rot for your whole life. Because what happened is that people that often like think of it like this, right? I have I have family members in my life who have done really really bad things, right? And then they've gotten out of prison and dove through the time of them being in there, which is way more time they probably should have been there. But they were there. They learned that what I did was truly wrong. So I want to help other people that have done that are on the road to doing these terrible things to help better themselves and present them from. But doing those terrible like things, like w- 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 there's a scale. There's a difference there's a, between and there's these a scale. things. And at the same time, I'm saying this as someone that has not had someone directly um, related to them, because like obviously you can't tell a parent this shit that I'm saying right now. Obviously, I'm, yeah, I'm very aware of someone's this. kid that got I'm very molested. Aware of this, right? I'm very not, I'm upset. Not, I'm not. That's why this is a nuanced conversation. That's why I'm not saying like, oh, 100. percent I'm right. I just, I think it's, I think that, I, I have pity. That is just my nature. I think that people do things and they fuck up and they're not always their worst moments. But at the end of the day, I think there's, there's a scale. scale. There's a scale. Like if someone I think goes, fucking kids is, is I think it, that's that's like it's way too poppy. premeditated. It's way too life ruining. Exactly. To it's- just be like, well, you were gonna rehabilitate. I think um no, you you have you there is so much thought put into rape. There's there's it's you don't just it's not it like you're like a the fucking most tiger thing. I agree. pouncing I agree. a fucking like like a I, whatever the fuck it's prey. I agree, I agree. I think it's it's the it's a cra- it's my nature of wanting to be like people don't deserve to just get fucking rolled out and rolled over. I agree with a lot of but- things. At the same time, that is also one of the most evil things you can do to somebody. Yeah, I just, I think, like, I don't have any, I don't, uh, I so don't. I'm not, so I'm not saying it to say, like, I'm 100% right on this. Understand that. It's just, like, I look, just man, think that is a really. I think, look at, look at, listen. I, 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 you know, I, I genuinely think, as <laughs> sad as this is. Yeah. I think people, I think there is an inherent violence in people that needs to be satiated in some way. And I think, unfortunately, hum, humans. They, there. This has been just a repeated pattern throughout, like all of human history, where there's like people subjugate each other, right? And so, to me, I think like if there's any group, <laughs> quite frankly, that we could use to maybe ah, 
exercise that demon. Yeah. I, I can't think of a better group, quite frankly. Like, I, I don't know. Throw the, I, I, That's why I'm like, dude, you, yo, throw him in the Coliseum. I think like, sincerely, that, like, I, I don't I know. I think that's one of the worst crimes you could commit, man. I think, like, it's, it's like, it's, I can't really think of anything worse than that. Like, genuinely coming to my brain, I can't. I don't think that, un- I can't. Un- unless, yeah. unless, unless like, you are, no, I, I, I guess, may, I, the only thing that I could th- think of that's even close is um, singing for Imagine Dragons, I think. That's like pretty close. Committing like one man genocides. I think like that, it's only you out there doing it is the only thing. I think that's like this is And bad. then Imagine Dragons. Then, then Imagine, Imagine Dragons, Dragons, then Pedophilia. Then Pedophilia. Yeah. Then yeah. Right. right. <laughs> the, the Imagine Dragons is worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It's more not good. Nah, dude, that's that that is like, I understand you trying to have that mature, nuanced conversation. I get that. I, I, I do understand where you're coming from, but um I would hold those conversations for um, not mostly nonviolent crimes, like say uh, theft is one thing that I excuse quite a bit because a lot of people are just stealing from like corporations that I don't give a fuck about. I agree. Um, and a lot of times people are doing it out of necessity. A lot of times people do think because of the way that I think of I don't care about corporations having all this fucking money that they don't think there's anything wrong with it. So that conversation I can have. I, I feel about like because I actually feel like the way the, the way that I feel about theft is like I actually think. <laughs> I don't know if you go into like a place with like a gun or something, like and rob the place. I think you're a piece of shit. Well, but that's, if you like, can, that's more than just theft, though. Right, well, that's, well, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what? What? But what? But I don't know. Like, there's, dude. If you, I don't know. If you can, if you can, slip something past a Walmart. I think you've earned it. I think there's zero you know, wrong I, with I that. I think I literally, I genuinely. Well, I also just feel like I don't know. Like, I, I think, here's I think, my I only think problem. Things don't cost things, right? Things here, cost things, obviously, right? Here's my problem. And, but they don't. Look but at, the thing is, that it's a corporation. At the same time, they back back like this is a corporation. They, You're not stealing from Ben down the street who needs their bread to feed their kid. Right. You're stealing from the conglomerate that is Walmart. And though I think it's still not right to steal because of the fact that so many other people still use their hard-earned money to pay for the things doing the right thing, and then for you to come and just break that rule and steal is in hand to with your fellow man. That is where I come from. But at the same time, corporates can suck most of my dick. Well, I think the only negative su- the, the only negative downside to it is the corporation itself taking it out on their employees. Because that's what they do. So you when there's the fucking Walmart when there's too much like the fucking tiger in, in a in a break room in like Michigan? They beat the tiger, but like still they fucking did that. <laughs> they barely well, it's, beat it's, the t- it's Walmart uh, workers. They didn't, they didn't barely they beat it. That, that tiger that tiger got like one swing on. They were it's like, Walmart. Oh fuck you, and they pinned it down and stomped on it. It's Walmart workers versus a tiger, and that tiger stood no chance, let me tell you. The the Walmart the Walmart workers are pretty they're pretty gritty because they they're the they're, I, they're in the trenches they're the in the idea trenches of so, yeah. people jumping a tiger and killing it is crazy <laughs> the idea of there's a moment in that fight that the tiger is terrified you can literally look and up, really wants to get out of there it's yeah. hilarious you can look up the video of this happen it's 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 crazy look like up Walmart moment, tiger there's a moment where the tiger does this and looks at them scared. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, this poor that was beast. A hungry ass tiger. This poor beast knows he's. Uh, a yeah, that's, <laughs> anyway, I don't yeah, know. That's pretty like, much. Tr- that's pretty anyway, much yeah, what they do. Trump. I don't know, man. Trump almost got assassinated. That would have been fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not morbidly curious about what that alternate reality would have been. Like, dude, who, who like the I'm fuck so is it? like, what, how the fuck crazy. could you not be who curious? Like, well, oh my god, like, like, we almost I, we almost like went into. We almost, I feel like we actually almost got plunged into something that would like really shake shit up. And there is part of me that was like, oh, it's okay. So he just got kind of hurt. I don't think anything's really. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's it's somewhat underwhelming. Not that I, I wanted it to happen, but it's just it's like, like oh, man, I've been. I guess what I'm saying is like, I'm really thirsty for like a big like shake up and a big change, and I don't really see that happening. You'll be the person to cause it. Even man. You even do it. even with Trump winning after this, and like, I know people are like, oh, Trump's the end of democracy. I don't really believe that. I think it's going to be remarkably. I feel like it's going to be remarkably underwhelming for a lot of people. I disagree. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know why I disagree? Because that's basically how I felt in 2016. And it was true. And it absolutely wasn't true. That's talking wild. About. You, this is this is like like a straight white male talking. Like what are you this is literally talking about? like the real shit right here. Chris, because Chris. for a lot of people, that is so far from being your experience. It is fucking insane for you to even say that. What are you talking about? Chris, exactly. I, that Chris, is exactly my Chris, point. Democracy is still here. No, 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 not I, I, democracy, you fool. Well, arguably. No, that's what not, I'm talking you about. You said no. That, that, no, that no, is no. one fucking example. But saying things being different, very different. Things are very different. That was what you also said. That is talking the main about in the point. context of democracy, man. In the context guy. of democracy, you're right. It's still you're here. Right. Whoa. It's still, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's still the okay. illusion of it's still here. So, yes. <laughs> now, okay. okay but, well, let me, let me, let me, I'll focus on that now because you said, you said a couple things. So, like, as far as democracy disappearing, uh, there is a genuine 
it's I would say it's 50 50. Why I say it's 50 50? Because it depends on what Trump wants to do. Trump wins. It depends on what he wants to do, because him packing the Supreme Court, you That's know, six to three, the two people that he's going to put in. That is the biggest. Well, fucking like, it's, nightmare it's already scenario. majority. Well, yeah, it's, I agree. It's That's already fucked scenario. because it's already majority yeah, conservative. It's, 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 it's already it's, fucked. It's so it's four. It's five, four, right? No, six. six so like, say like dude, six, four fucking it, no, like it's isn't there nine. There's nine, right? I thought it was. Oh, sorry, my bad. Anyway, so the whole thing is it's lopsided, and that's why everything keeps happening in his favor, where it's to get away from all the obvious crimes that he did. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, they can do whatever they want now, and it's under our advisement. So basically, as long as he said I did it as commander in chief, they'll review right. it and be like, cool. You know, so maybe for Biden, if he tried to do something, maybe they would deny him because it's fucking lopsided. But for Trump. They've already proven that they're doing all this for him. Just right. like that fucking judge dropped the thing outside of him being the president, not giving back those files, which should have been the strongest case for like he's doing illegal shit. Yeah. She just dropped it. She did some really unprecedented shit. Like in this world we're in right now, and if it made any sense, she would have been kicked out a long time ago just for fucking Trump appointed her. Trump right. appointed all these judges. Basically, Trump, if he becomes president, he can have the power of the king if he wants. Just like Sotomayor talked about, gave an example of like, you basically just gave him free reign to do whatever the fuck he wants if he so chooses. So it all comes down to if he chooses and wants to do that. So to me, saying like, I don't think it could be, it literally could if he wants it to be. It could, but it ha- it so statistically far, it just hasn't been because every time nothing like say, this has happened no, before. Here, oh my god! What I'm saying oh, yeah, is okay, every okay. time okay, people say the end of the world is, and this is by the way the fucking, I don't give a fuck about that. Never mind. No, All no, right. like look at you. <laughs> don't worry about it. No, like it's, it's fine. not to worry about it. How about stay on topic? The, the, every probably someone says this the is end what of the I'm world. talking. But that's the topic, Derek. No, the topic is you said to mock. I what oh I talked god. about. Listen, dude. It's wild. No, listen. You're acting like it's wild. But remember when I said something and you said I was talking about the end of democracy. Right. The end of the world is not the end of democracy. No, but you just... Bro, can you... Don't please fucking insult my intelligence, brother. Listen not, to what the fuck I'm saying. Stick on the I topic saying then. Every time somebody time. says... That is not wait, what we're talking about. I hope everybody dies. Wait, 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 No, look, listen, listen easy, to me. Easy, listen easy, to me. I hope you all die. Do you understand what I'm saying? Easy. I understand what his argument is. No, no, no. That's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking. Hold on. Let me ask you. I want to ask you a question. When I was told to stick on topic of the democracy thing... And then I did. And then he started talking about whenever someone says something about the end of the world. And his, I'm like, that's that, not. No, 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 no. His conversation about that is to continue to elaborate on the hyperbolic nature of people saying that it'll be the end of X, Y, and Z when Z ha- when whatever Y happens, right? That is what he's trying to say, right? Though I disagree with what Chris's statement is because the shit that's happened, obviously, with that whole entire damn near appointing a king shit. Look, Donald Trump is a fucking extreme narcissistic man that oh, yeah, I would course. not I would not be surprised if he's like I want to wear a crown and I want people to follow me with red birds on their back I want to wear a big robe be shit. Be shit. Be like, okay. I want a large robe because think because he's just he's a narcissist right so I would oh, assume he would he would he I would it, it would it would not shock me for him to do tyrannical things with the power he's appointed right yeah and I, that is very possible so what happens? It is, is the, very the, possible. So what happens is that the, by the nature of that, democracy is inherently in danger. I think democracy is always in danger. Quite frankly, it has always been but in danger. I think, that's true. Here's here's the way the, the my perspective is: we won't really know what any of this means until four years from now, which is very frustrating because a lot of this comes down to whether or not he will actually concede or like when if he wins and then there's an election, or if there will be. That will be the deciding factor. And then I think that's when everything is going to crumble. If there yeah. is an election, then, I mean... I think we'll know by 2026. Because uh, I think he's already said things that he would do. He's going to be dictator on the first day. He's already said things that he was going to do with yeah. his uh, with his Agenda 47. He's already said what he's going to do. Like his 90-day plan, like, this right? Is, this is like... The, the thing is, like again, this is like... I know most people don't fucking follow politics. I know most people don't know, like, Agenda 47, what's that? I'm like, it's on his fucking website. Read. God damn it. Read. Like, people don't read. They don't care. Of course. I do. Like, this shit is upsetting. So here's the thing. It is very likely he can absolutely throw the world into chaos with his decisions. Just like I said, he will stop giving aid to Ukraine. And they're 80% of the weapons that they get are from us. They will fucking be demolished. Mm-hmm. And then the Soviet Union 2.0 will start. The rest of fucking Europe will have to get involved 
plunge into that is a huge possibility if he wins yeah that most likely will happen and then just to make sure he protects himself and his legacy and his family he can do things that will be like eh, i should probably be president again and he can't do it he yeah, literally well, we'll can't do it. If, the, if that happens, yeah. then like that like, will be yeah. that will be it. And, that, you know what okay, I mean? and that's a very reasonable response for you to that's say. That's when but, I think. That's when I think everything will actually like. Okay, yeah. well now we're gonna kill yeah. people. I think that's a very reasonable you know, response. That's but that's happen. basically was not what was being communicated before. Where it's like I don't think anything's gonna happen. I'm like I, that's. I feel like that's a little. I don't think you can just assume what the future will be. We're not assuming what the future. We're saying that is a very big possibility well, that something can happen. Right, but here's what I'm saying. It's like you. This is this is kind of what I was trying to get at before. The irresponsibility of the messaging has led us here. I agree. And so the irresponsibility of like everything. What do you mean by that? I, I mean, you lived through it. You remember when everybody it's like Nazi this, Nazi that, Nazi this, right? Everything. Fucking everything. Everybody was like Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. Th it's like, dude, listen, I under you might feel that way, but you can't fucking do that because you mobilize people that way. This is a vi dude. If there was ever a party that was like victimhood plus it's that group they're going to consolidate the left can't consolidate around a single person they're incapable of working together i don't know what the fuck it is about well it's, it's, it's crazy it's, it's the nature of the but they don't that have the principles left. in the same way so they're just gonna pile up they're gonna see somebody being attacked and attacked and attacked and they're gonna be like that's our guy that's our guy it's like motherfucker play the game Wait, play so, the game um yeah i mean i i get to it's like, frustrating you know the left the left has failed us they, in they do they fucked up with they, with bernie so bad they did. They are, i can't even I, hillary clinton is such a fucking phenomenal bitch i can't even believe it well, so, i really cannot believe how she was just in there because she felt entitled to it and that's it so sure, that's what biden's doing now uh, um and look uh, the one thing i'll say though about because like voting statistics like you say, for of uh, Hillary won the popular vote, more people wanted her to be, but the electoral college is bullshit, of course. Yeah. Um. So Trump won this one time. He only won one time. He didn't win the second time. They're not as mobilized or as organized as online makes it appear to be. Oh, 100% like that as the, well. the voting, even though all those people were like, oh, I love Trump, most of them still didn't turn up the vote. So that, that's just kind of like the thing about online versus what is actually yeah, happening. Yeah, the internet's not reality. And uh, and, and so the, the thing is, and, and why I feel like... be. Before this event that happened, I think it was much closer than people thought because like me just paying attention to like, say, actual voting and the polls and what people are probably going to do and what they uh, historically do at the end of the day. They're like, ah, fuck, I have to I, I have to I have to vote for this guy. They'll hold out as long as they can with their fucking polling and shit like that. But then when it comes down to it, they're going to vote for this fucking old decrepit piece of shit. I, and I, uh, so the best thing that would happen right now is if some, like I said, some angry fucker just explodes Biden, because and then all yeah, of a we sudden can't say that legally. So. People on the right would be all ha ha, and the, and because they hasn't they haven't understood the entire time that like, bro, there's probably like six people in the United States that are like, yeah, Biden's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's probably like six people, and everybody else is like, <laughs> fuck, I have to, I, yeah. I guess I have to vote for this fucking asshole. And, and, it, would, and it would be, it would be a really funny day. It'd be they don't funny. think just like when uh, when Trump lost, they were so confused. They're like, I don't get it. Everybody hates Biden. And I'm like, yes, dude, but they hate Trump more than they hate Biden. So they will vote for Biden because they hate him more. They don't understand that. But it's it's a really it's a really big failing of our our our, our side political. You know, You're gay. Because being a left leaning uh, person, what happens is that we are we have these things called morals but and principles, right? Who boom now? So what happens is that when someone does something fucked. We're like, you suck, fuck you. And then we put them out to pasture. More on average, you're definitely, you're thousand percent so right. So what happens is that we you're never have right. a person to be like, oh, we'll stand by you. I don't know, Because yeah. every, because, you know, people that suck shouldn't have mass followings and be praised by people. It'd be great if that was. Well, we, really, don't, really, really, we, we don't the, do the that. Biggest, the biggest problem yeah, really yeah. is going to, is going to be in. I mean, ironically, Republican states, probably, you know, because like there's a lot of like even just with like abortion stuff. Right. Like that's not really going to affect us here you know yeah, what i mean for sure. we're, so we're, it's it's really this i mean i feel bad we're, for we're in a blue state states, we're in yeah. a blue state we're not gonna we're not experiencing yeah no gavin wild. gavin was like you know he's like whatever so it was it was gavin happen. can't even imagine it's so well the thing is i think i i think logically he will be the next nominee and he'll do i think people would i think people are gonna be so much happier because all the all the the, the right's gonna be like oh know, pandemic pandemic and it's like yeah that was fucking years ago shut up yeah I mean, think, I don't know. You I, think of somebody I, who's uh, who would be more of a, I, I can think of some people that are better, but I'm thinking realistically. Oh, the realistically? Who, who, yeah. who, be, who do you think would be the best the best choice for us right now? Who would be like somebody on, who would legitimately, yeah. I think that would do good? I, Richard honestly, Simmons. 
I'm pretty sure he just died. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm pretty sure he just died. What? Didn't someone else die? I I'm pretty sure he literally died just died. Recently, and we were talking. There was in the comments. It was. Oh, uh, uh, verify that shit. I'm pretty sure literally Richard Simmons just died. Oh, you're right. Like eight <laughs> minutes, eight minutes before, like the president got shot. <laughs> um, but no. But uh, in all seriousness, I wish John Stewart would step up and and just fucking just run. I do. Who are you? wait? As far as like a celebrity candidate, yeah, he's probably. You the mean best like one. John Daily Stewart? Show? Yes, one thousand percent. Oh yeah, he would fucking turn Trump a half. Well, he would he, tear somebody like that in half. Yeah, absolutely. he would. Legit, he knows how to talk. Well, he's just a charismatic person. Who he's seems, charismatic. Who, a, yeah. he's, he's he's smart. Even outside of this fucking show, his podcast, his books, like he's a very fucking the, smart. The he thing, cares about the troops. That, that that's kind of the thing that got me was like when he was um because he, he was fighting uh, for like the nine eleven relief people. Yeah. for like ages, uh -huh. and he gave like a lot of. It's like he oh, okay, so he cares at the very least. He's, I, I, I'd feel comfortable with that. I, as I far think, as like a celebrity candidate goes, like I can't think of anybody else who. I, did, you know. I think I think that's a. But I, even as like an actual politician, that's what I want. I, I want, wouldn't I want a real pol. I, I just I don't know, man. I, I, feel I like, would like say um, I don't know how because I know it's thirty five, which is the arbitrary fucking age. Uh, but like say if it was, I think something that that would unite people on the left more because of the the age and say just um. And also looks all right. Uh, AOC. Now, AOC obviously is kind of problematic with a lot of people like, oh, her, uh, she has a lot of venom. But I think that's what we need. I think people need yeah. like they need some they, they need some flame, dude. The, the venom comes across as insincere, though, because it's she's kind of and I understand the game. I understand like the, the politics of it where it's like, OK, I'm going to like soften my, you know, soften my contributions to like appeal to the party. But like she's not really like as she's not acted as radical as she kind of advertised. Yeah, I just I just mean like you know? say her attitude. It's a good attitude, yeah. Um, like her her at like it's I'm because really when it comes to here's the thing the uh it's gonna be a very long time or almost probably never when it comes to people just having perfect policy. Someone who is like a Bernie Sanders who is Bernie Sanders who like oh. Uh, we're talking about just catching up to European countries and Canada. Like that's kind of the low bar, and I don't because of uh of how much control corporations have over our uh, Congress. I don't see that happening. I I just the only way it would not happen is if us collectively were like none of these people are being voted back in. They're not being voted. We're going to vote for people who have clean voting records and who aren't going to be bought and paid for. But I just don't see that happening in any realistic setting. So as far as getting a politician that's going to actually do the bidding of uh, of Americans, I just don't know if that could happen. Yeah, like, that's the so to me. I'm like, it's frustrating at the very least. Get someone who will keep us in the Paris Accords, who won't fucking keep selling out, um, um, you know, buying the, the EPA, the, the, really destroying the, the environment yeah. more, like shit like that. The best you hope know? that you can really have is like, I don't know, hopefully uh, getting his ear shot off has uh, altered him in some way. Or he's, he's a more little, sympathetic or what? I don't know. I feel like he can't. You don't come away from something like that unchanged, do you? He did at the RNC. He looked a little different. Yeah. He looked a little like. Like, I almost, it was weird. I will say, it did kind of humanize him a little bit. But then, he having that fucking elf ear thing kind of, like, funny, yeah. distracted the fuck out of me. Yeah, look, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I generally just, look, I don't like Trump at all. I, I think, um, well, I think he's funny. But I sure. don't think, uh... The whole Epstein stuff weirds me out. There's like too much smoke there for there not to be fire, and for that, that's that's weird. Joe Biden's also really sus in that aspect too. So I don't, I don't, I don't really love any of the options right now. But the optimist in me hopes that like, okay, well, dude, almost getting shot must kind of trigger something in you that's like, oh, this is real because it's not even just like you got shot in like a like a bulletproof vest or something or like your leg or something. That was like. That was like a molecule away from being Inches like away from death. a JFK type situation. And I just don't know. You got to be a pretty inhuman person, <laughs> which is pos I don't know. You got to be able to be a politician in general. I guess. Genuinely. Uh, but to, 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 to some be, degree. To be a president, you got to have some sort of inhumanity. Sure. Because you got to be like, it's okay we're going lighting this place up with yeah. all with bombs. I don't know. So, you know, you got to be inhuman, the uh, nature of it. My hope is that. I, I couldn't do that. My, I would cry. My hope is that, like, this kind of is a wake up call to maybe, like, tone things a little bit down. I don't know how realistic that is. I think that cat's we'll, out the bag. We'll man. see. We'll see. I that love that optimistic bag. point of view. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. I will say the first statement that he released was a good 
start, but it, because I personally thought when I first found out, I found out through I was watching the UFC, the first fight. And then the guy gets on the mic. I just really try to take out my boy, Donald Trump. And I'm like, what? I'm thinking like it's just some bullshit, right? I'm like, what? what are you talking about? I went on Twitter and I saw literally, oh, they literally tried to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. I found out all that shit immediately. And I was like, yo. I was playing, I was, I was playing Concord on stream. Somebody was like, you got, uh, Trump got shot. And I was like, oh, whoa, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I was kind of like remarkably like, because like the thing is to me is like Trump got shot and Trump was killed are two different things. Because yeah. like if, if he got shot, it's like, okay, so he's not dead, you know, because okay i mean so i guess nothing's changing really it's still pretty wild just to like that 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 even happened right it is a wild (laughs) historical event undoubtedly it is this is this is like a thing i just never i don't think any of us ever perceived that happening however because i would say years ago i was thinking how come no one shot this motherfucker like i i've thought about this before i'm like the the amount of people so polar it's such a polarizing person realize how dangerous he has been become to uh you know to really like say what happened with uh overturn of roe v well there's a million just a billion things that have happened oh and yeah. a lot of things that he did dude even the fucking ppp loans like ppp the ppp 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 loans but no 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 like so much crazy so much wacky shit that has happened i was like okay i was actually surprised that um nobody's some people haven't like there's some underground group that have all tried to store you know like do something like i was actually i'll be honest i was surprised that that like it would took this lone fucking freak that what i think was completely depressed and fucked up and as Agreed. to go out i think he was from what it looks like to me i was thinking that he was just like well maybe i'll go out as a hero yeah do you, do you think <laughs> like, do, you, do you think that this is like what if he did it for jody foster that would like be crazy in what context I really. What do you mean? What, like, what, the, what other what other concerts is doing something for a woman? You're, like, you're trying to get pussy, I guess. Con- you're at least trying to look. You're trying to look good. Do you not yeah. know about the Reagan assassination? How he did it for Jodie Foster? That that's not that's not true, right? That's very true. I don't like this, dude. Every time there's been an assassination attempt is from my except. Well, I guess Lee Harvey Oswald. That's not true. But there's just been this weird connection. These people have some weird like so they're, this famous st- woman. they're doing it's it. No, women, no, not, not it's always Jody it's Foster, women, man. But it's, just, it's always just some bullshit where it's like they're they're trying to impress someone or they got instructions from someone. Dude, I, no, bet, I bet you a million dollars, Franz Ferdinand was killed because that guy was trying to imp- impress some lady. The idea. Of I'll be, I bet everything I have. The on fucking that. dude that was uh, sat- the black you, hand, the guy from the, the fucking guy from the black, black hand, hand. The guy who sparked the the, the world wars. Yes, the, the, guy guy that, that, the guy that started the change of human history. Yeah, that dude. Isn't it crazy though that like this is what I think about like simulation theory and stuff like that because of that event where the dude was in the fucking wrong place. The yeah, assassin, was in, he yeah. was in the wrong place and they turned, I think different I forgot something happened that made them turn down the wrong road and then he happened to be like, Holy shit, I thought I missed my fucking opportunity and here he comes. And I'm just like, doesn't that happen on like Sims? Isn't that like like it's such a coincidental thing that happened? You're like, bro, isn't that yeah, like Sims yeah, type shit? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes have to I wake up, sometimes I wake up and like if I'm sleeping and there's like a bunch of tubes on me and I'm in this capsule, and then I freak out, then I fall back to sleep and I wake up like like in my bed. I hate that tube thing from the that human, is the most fucking traumatizing dude, thing ever. Humans are such a about? bad source of infra uh, for energy too. To where it's like <laughs> I hate the idea of that. Like oh. we're just all t- uh, tubed up in some shit. I'm like, <laughs> what are they? Why? Why won't they just get fucking better resources than use? And let humans go extinct. I don't understand that. Fucking, I don't know why, man. I still love the Matrix. Though. I don't care. I, I don't, don't give a fuck how stupid that is. I love look, that movie. Man, if I die and there's something after this, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck was going on, bro? That's I, not, like, I just want to be on? one of the overlords because I feel like it's probably like cubicles. <laughs> I just want to be this an overlord. Cubicle in each cubicle is a universe. That's what I think. So there's yeah. just some fucking nerd loser fucking overlord that is like, all right, run the simulation and, and it's for testing. They're getting paid like the equivalent of what's minimum wage of here. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's what our universe what is. is what is overlord minimum wage? And then what do they go and buy in their universe? They go and buy in their universe a McDouble and a fucking order of fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're like, yo, I'm really not doing good. My fucking, my fucking, end, my, my enhanced endoplasms is really off the charts. My wife's been really bitching at me. I can't play my celestial card game yeah. without her fucking yelling at me. I my keep, done, I keep done losing my microplasms. My microplasms. <laughs> 
My mm. damn bio I'm all fucked up. <laughs> you got my bio fucked up. I see you in the so office right Trump, now. So, yes, I don't know. Whatever. Don't assassinate anybody. Yeah, don't do that. That's not a good idea. <laughs> that, that person probably thought, like I said, Republican probably hates Trump. That is a lot of people. We remember. Like, so he's just like, fuck this guy. He fucked everything up. He made things infinitely worse. And now he's not even alive to see what he's done. Yeah. Like yeah. also, it, just, shit. it just doesn't which generally speaking assassinations lead to really bad things also generally, people, read, generally read, speaking. people read policies please start reading policies please start uh absorbing information because it's it, it, it's the world is in a kooky fucking place and right. it, it's it can only get it can it can get better but it only gets better with us arm wrestles information that is the biggest problem that america has in general and i'm sure it's on purpose that we are taught such flimsy amounts of information we're not really geared towards learning i think we need to uh, also vote huh also vote i think, I we, think need we need to introduce uh i think we need to introduce uh insects and animal life in biomes where they don't belong to destabilize the universe to destabilize the world the universe <laughs> the universe. <laughs> the, the, the universe start putting fucking bees in Dude, space we we detach <laughs> we detach from we somehow get out of the fucking the sun's gravitational pull we would die <laughs> can you imagine we would die like in a few minutes <laughs> i wish we lived in a world where everything was so fun, everything was so good that we we had <laughs> we had the free time to do really expensive things for no other reason than for our own like let's Let's put a tiger in cryosleep in a capsule and shoot it at that distant planet. I want and it. And see what, like, as a country, and let's just see what happens. It's put a camera die. on it. I want that. No, but it might, you, inter- uh, dude, it might survive. It might thrive. If, if its DNA might start a whole new tiger world. Yeah, it could be, dude, it we can have tiger die. friends. It's going to be too cold to shoot it. Literally, Earth, like, it, in a it's capsule, terrifying. Sir? It's terrifying the fact that how perfect of a place Earth is for life. At sometimes, uh, clearly, because we evolved well, well, here. Because we evolved here, yeah, we evolved here. Well, it's also obviously. like that. It's also like when you think about how hazardous the world is. That's not even true. It, this it, was, it, that's it, <laughs> the fact that like the Earth hurts us too, dude, which the, is why like I'm dude, very sure most, we're alien. The vast majority <laughs> of the world is uninhabitable. Yeah, the vast, we, you said the vast majority. Yeah. Yes, like if for if we're talking well, about first like seventy percent of the oceans. Yeah, like so you're right. Okay, so fundamentally, yeah, like fundamentally, fundamentally, but even on land, there's like so like. The thing that really, <laughs> and I learned this kind of like early on, where every time I would go outside, even, regardless of like, uh, specifically in the summer, it's like, oh, you you gotta wear your sunscreen. And I was like, what are you talking about? I th- we're not going like the beach, I'd like, and and just like, oh, I thought it was for like to prevent yourself from getting burned, you know, sunburn. That's what I thought it was, and it was like, no, no, the sun gives you cancer. <laughs> I was like, like damn. when I found out damn. what, what when are I, you talking about? That is I, the only thing that allows us to be here, and it gives us cancer. Yes, when that's sir. insane. When I found out the planet gate kept certain people from places, like that was a real thing. What are you talking about? The idea is like you're too pale, you can't be here. It's too sunny. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's true. Like yeah. that's crazy. It's like you're not. Whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> whoa. The f- Go look. back to those mountains, friend. The, the sun shines too much. Whoa, 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 dark skin person. You can't get any air out this air. It's too cold out here for you to be here. You get up out of here. And it's like, what? I really We get it. gate kept by the world. And then the beast, we got things on the planet that can see at nighttime and eat us. Oh, and I, then we befriended some of them. Oh, and they I, live in our house I, now. We yeah, forgot, that was pretty cool. We forgot, to mention, that, uh, bo- we forgot to mention that, I have it on my list here. We forgot to mention that Boogie is still gay. Oh, yeah. Um, Local so, lie. Still? So he's still gay. Uh, he So obvious, obviously he lied. Whoa. And he admitted it. It's like not like Occam's razor hey. yet again. Now he, just, he lied. He didn't, what? He didn't say he lied, but he said that it, this is so funny. And that last stream where everything blew up, he was even he even pantomimed to I don't know if that's the right word. He showed no, not pantomime because he actually did it. He showed his phone to his child girlfriend or whatever the fuck. She's like, what is she like? Twelve or something? I forget. <laughs> yeah. But like, so he showed his uh, his his fucking nine year old girlfriend. The Stop. like. <laughs> Uh, say when it is really does, but he does not have a nine year old girlfriend. 20, uh, 21 year old girlfriend, okay? okay? That, stop okay. saying nine year old After his, the college we just had, had, stop saying nine year old girlfriend. He showed his 21 year old girlfriend, minus 11 girl. Uh, <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Or whatever. Fucking, okay, anyway. So he showed, he showed his girlfriend. Um, <laughs> who was a Gerber baby? He was a. <laughs> And he he said he acted like he acted like he had the results on his phone or some shit. Yeah, like, and he was like I can see 
that like it shows what he had the poly of cythera of uh, s- poly, cythi- poly, poly cythemia vera, cythemia vera. <laughs> cythemia vera. he probably fucking <laughs> poly cythemia vera. That, that is a crazy level like he literally held it up to uh the to queen? his to his girlfriend and said like read it it's there right yeah it's probably just like a photo of his fucking inflamed nuts <laughs> or something it's like some insane probably his purple legs or something <laughs> Purple. Yeah. Do you know his legs are purple, man? You know they are. There's no circulation. His down. legs look <laughs> like a his legs look like a clothed Wooly Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Willy Wonka or or Boogie's or legs? Boogie's legs. <laughs> That's Is amazing. That, Willy Wonka. that is amazing. Is that the entirety? Bo- Is that the entire body of Willy Wonka or Boogie's, or Boogie's legs? legs. <laughs> Somebody fucking stop that me. That is Somebody that is, stop me, dude. That is amazing. Oh my fucking god. I hope yeah. I get into a mass level situation without any of the powers. <laughs> so I just die. I can't believe somebody. Like he is with you know, you don't need to diagnose him as a pathological liar. He is. There yeah. is that level of lying is incredible. Yeah. That is inc- dude, you <laughs> and then him, oh, I'm standing on principle. Like shut the fuck yeah. up. Nobody believes you. He's just say a, something believable. Dude, like it's because I look, I've I've been in situations where like I'm trying to avoid trouble at all costs and I'm like, I'm just gonna lie my way out of this. You know? Yeah. And if, if but it gets like, that bad, sometimes you gotta like, if, if it gets look, really, really bad, sometimes <laughs> you gotta do it, you know? <laughs> sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a matter of survival. But like, bro, there's a point. Where you just got to, like, admit guys, it. Just you admit, guys, like, get, get your you caught, get okay. Him. But, like, to keep it... You guys to get keep him, it right? stretched out for as long as he kept it. Right. He's so insane. But you guys understand why, right? Because he's so white. Well... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, open, he's open history book. All I he's say. a sick. What, like, he's yeah. a sick fella. Why what, do you think he lives in he Arkansas? Was, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh the wow. Thing of, the thing about him is, or that his book, girl, if No, I shouldn't say that. Stop, stop. <laughs> Me, when? <laughs> stop, <laughs> Boogie. He's just. He's. He's. You just, think they're related? I love you, Boogie. I love. I wouldn't you. be surprised to be honest. His niece. He met her. He met. <laughs> he met her at a fucking quinceanera that he she, that he for some reason is supposed to be at. He was at a quinceanera. I met you at your birth. He was at a he was a Chambalan for some reason at a Kingston Yada and it's like, why was he there? But okay. Why? Why was <laughs> who uh, fine. Whatever. But the idea is that he's just he's he's just given up, dude. Like he's effectively kind of just given he's up. Giving it makes me up. it makes me sad seeing a human. He's ever sick of that feeling. low. <laughs> <laughs> he has a cunt. But it's also he just fucking he's a victim now. He's like, I'll just play victim because it feels better. Because people were nice to me when I'm a victim. When I have cancer, people aren't as mean to me. Um, I'm boogie. I fully, was, I fully believe he's a, um, a genuine monster. I forgot. Monster. There, was a, there was a significant event that happened. I can't remember. There was a significant event that happened before he um, said the the uh, the cancer thing. Something. Oh, oh, the crypto. He lost all his money. Yeah, the crypto thing. So he lost all of his money in crypto because like a fuck. I don't understand. I, I know somebody who did the same thing happened to him. They just didn't understand. They thought they could invest like rich people. And I'm like, bro, no, these are for pump and dumps. How did you not know this? Pump and dump. Like, even when, when Doge went to the moon, I put in a little bit of money. It's because he's lying. You know, I put in, put in three figures, got four figures back, and then you're done you, with it. And you leave. I'm you don't sh- leave your fucking money in fucking Doge or whatever the fuck they left their money in. A, I don't know what crypto coins they used. It's not like, okay, uh, Bitcoin is probably. Welcome to ComCoin. It's the only thing leave that has been money pretty stable. Cum. And it has lost significantly, but it's still pretty fucking high. Yeah, but anyway. I wish uh, I, hope, I hope I got some Bitcoin somewhere. That'd be great. I f- dude, that's I hope. Yeah. When I don't you told me that I story, I, stop, stop, I, I got stop, so stop, fucking, stop, I almost stop, hit you, dude. Stop. I almost punched you in the mouth. Yeah, you're making me, f- <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, you're sh- I feel ashamed. You should do it to yourself. You should do it yourself. Listen, I, listen, I listen, whipped listen, myself listen. 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 vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> I vigorously the idea, the idea of like <laughs> angling it while you make the whip hit the side of your room and then come back hit you in the back <laughs> because you did some dumb shit like oh, sorry Dude, I people thought I was shooting a 60 caliber fucking gun <laughs> no you were just fucking getting genetic memories <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like I, I saw like it, I, I, I appeared for a second on the set of Roots like I, I got hit, and then I saw them filming it, and then yeah. I went back to where the it was. idea of that is crazy. <laughs> the idea of that a white man yells at you, or for some reason you're just seeing you, you just see through your great great granddad's eyes, him just being like this, and you're like, whoa. If you go back and whoa. watch, if you go back and if you go back and watch Roots, you are there for one frame, <laughs> just, just like in the middle, no, in the middle of the screen. It's, it's more future me. 
Like it's not even me right now. It's me a few years ahead of right now. <laughs> Do you know that? Do you know and that it's scene? Like, What's going on? That's not even me yet. That's, <laughs> That's not even it. me yet. Can you hand me the iPad? It's plugged oh, in. Shit. I forgot. Do you know that meme? Oh, I was the meme? Yeah, you know the the band, the meme. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, like the I'm who's? sure there is one. Like the who's and the memes. No, the, you know that that scene from the Roots where he's like, "Your name's Toby," and then he keeps saying "Kunta Kinte," like he won't like uh, back down. Yeah. Do you know that scene? Kunta there's a there's a thing, and I know this is really like offensive technically, but like uh, the song "Higher" by Creed, where yeah. it would go like, "Money, your name's Toby." No, it's Kunta Kinte. And it was just like that whole scene played out through the lyrics of Higher, like the melody of Higher. And it, it actually works. I'm going to beat this N word. I have genuinely. I'm going to whip his back. I don't think I know any any of the lyrics to that song, really, outside of the chorus. Oh, there's, Let's go there. I know there's Let's like. Let's make our escape. All you gotta do is like clinch and then sing through your jaw. And you, you, gotta, you, gotta limit, go you gotta limit yourself on purpose. I do like uh, the what with arms wide open. It's about his stupid gay son. <laughs> <laughs> is this son both stupid and gay, or is he just like a kid? I just <laughs> This is my stupid gay son. I just know like he's he, not stupid because he's gay. Yeah, he's just he he's is, stupid and gay. I mean, but he is not, gay no and stupid. Not he might be that. gay because he's stupid. It was weird. Like he, he came out and it just looked exactly like Scott Stapp. It was crazy. Ew. Yeah, it was came out, the baby came out, I was like, where 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 daddy where did i get my bottle <laughs> i just pooped my pants. pants man is that even impressive at that point that he wrote that song if that's like just how he speaks it's just, no <laughs> I guess not. It's in fact him just talking. I guess he's all ashamed of He's like, well, I didn't even try. No, but shit. is it impressive that the way he speaks is a hit song? No. Or is it not impressive that, that he, he made a hit, he, song, that he made a hit like that? song that's just lazy? I think it's you somewhere I mean? in the middle. It's somewhere in the middle of those two things. I think it's shameful. I think it's unimpressive for, for all parties. Like when we learn that, oh, he's just talking. And then him, he's like, yeah. Just, there was that weird I'm interview where he was talking him. about how he had a forked penis. <laughs> I don't really even know what a fork. <laughs> You know what's you know what's crazy? I don't even know what a fork penis really is. You know? it, it's a penis that looks like a fork. Yeah, so silver and like <laughs> no, 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 not silver. It's, it's, it still has the so foreskin like and everything. Cutlery. Same color, but it just looks like a fork. It's a guy. It's yeah. The idea what of, are you understanding? The idea of a penis is like a fork. Actually, like it's nothing phenotypical about a penis. It looks like a fork. Yeah. Like an eating utensil. Yeah. Like I can someone in the dark could grab that and try to eat their fucking pasta with it. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of porn out there with that dude standing over some bitch's plate, <laughs> feeding her fucking spaghetti. Her <laughs> bitch. Eat her spaghetti. Did you know that Eminem has a fucking restaurant called Mom Spaghetti? Mom yeah. I had no fucking I, idea. Yeah, that I was thought real. that was fake. I thought that Mom was fake. Too. Somebody said that no, no, to it me. W- it was fake for a while, then it actually oh, became actually a real it? thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is so insane. They only do spaghetti and meatballs. Actually, they don't do anything else. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> Who the fuck? Is- First of all, spaghetti's kind of like. I mean, it's that's, cra- that's it's, crazy. That's crazy. Spaghetti is delicious. Spaghetti is like the most mid pasta. It is. The it mid, is. Most it mid is mid the most mid pasta. Yes, but it's still delicious. It's pasta. If it's there, I'll eat it. But I'll never go out of my way to get it. If it's good, like, like there's like there's penne. There's everything that's uh, that's better than there's like linguine, like that. If, better if, noodles. If, if yeah, someone for is sure. cooking, if someone is cooking me spaghetti, I'll eat it and I'll enjoy it. One hundred percent. But like, I don't think I would ever. I don't, I don't think I've ever. I've actually, never gone like, out of my way to get it on my own. I've never went out to get it, and I've never made never it for once. myself. I've never, never I've never, never ordered spaghetti as a grown man. Like as an adult, I haven't ordered spaghetti. I'm sure, yeah. As a kid, but, spaghetti but like, was fucking awesome. But if it's fire. Just slurping it's good, the noodles. It's fun. Mom would be all pissed because it's all over your fucking face. <laughs> <You're> like, hey, <laughs> hey. You start rubbing on your arms on your clothes quickly. You yeah. turn your white shirt into a tie-dye oh, yeah. dye fucking like, tomato sauce thing. Looks like you got fucking shot. It looks like fucking you were, you were given a, a, a speech in Philadelphia. There's a moment where you actually take the spaghetti straight up and put it on your shirt. And then start trying to strain the sauce out the spaghetti. Yeah, exactly. And your mom beats you savagely in the restaurant. I was just eating spaghetti. It's all good. Fine. I was eating at mom's spaghetti and they <laughs> shot me. They shot at me and it was crazy. Eminem <laughs> shot me in the Eminem head. Eminem shot me. 
Because I he I, said I, venom. I didn't like <laughs> venom, 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 oh. venom, 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 venom. The idea of Marshall Mathers see? running. <laughs> <laughs> running into mom's spaghetti to shoot Trump, it's, shouting venom, venom, it's venom, venom. It's hilarious. Did you guys see the Shane Gillis thing on like uh, Tony's uh, Kill Tony when he was dressed as Trump? Oh, and the other guy was Biden, right? No, I don't think that was. Yeah, there was another guy next to him dressed as Biden. He, well, I didn't see the yeah. guy dressed as Biden, but Shane Gillis said some shit that was so fucking funny. It was, yeah, that yeah. I we can't say on the podcast. Is a Quite a few offensive words in it. It's good. But it's good. I was laughing. I was in tears We're laughing We're talking about the it. epidemic, right? Yes. Yeah. He's very, good. He's very good. funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. that's what like, the first thing that I saw and I knew it was going to circulate immediately was his impressionation of like, oh, what would Trump sound like if he got shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, I can't wait for that to be pulled up. And then, of course. Yeah, it's of very. Course. And yeah. the motherfuckers, oh, he didn't say. Just real quick before you go to questions. I, I tweeted out. And I'm sure many people were thinking it like, oh, I wonder how fast this is going to be a shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. then oh, I think it was within, seven minutes after I tweeted that I saw the first link. Within minutes. Seven minutes. I was just like. I almost bought one. That, <laughs> that. It's a good picture, to be honest. It is. Like, a, you can't deny that that's a really good picture. That's he why is it looks so, so fucking, insane. like, the amount he's like, he, it's just like when, when we do shots or when you do thumbnails, you don't just do one thing. You, if you're ever like, po- if you're ever posing for a thumbnail, you know how people will like. Sometimes I would do that. Like I would do multiple, like even if I, even if I'm doing the same, like whatever, whatever it is, I'm doing it multiple times. So there's options. He like, and the amount of times he pumped his fist to make sure that there was the right, like he. And the flag like, in the background. I hated I was like, Look at this. how calculated and brilliant that was because you don't ever want to give that dude any flowers, but you ha- kind of have to for that man. It's smart. It's smart. Politics. I wouldn't do that shit if I got shot in the fucking ear. If I got <laughs> like, shot, I'd be on the floor fucking trying to worm my way I out of the be, well, To be fair, he did hear that like shoot her down. Yeah, but see, the, the idea of I guess you don't know if there's another one. That's the whole thing. That to me, that's the thing. Oh, shoot her down. Ooh. I don't know the whole situation. That's still I, would I, have, be like, I have been near active nigga, gunshots and I am on the floor out like a snake. Literally, bro. I've been near active I'm gunshots going before, and I am <laughs> down. The I am stairs. You're going down the stairs, just like fucking just slithering down. You do that. Fast. You do that stupid, fast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're fast like a snake. You're actually <laughs> wiggling. <laughs> I'm using all of my muscles in my body correctly, dude. <laughs> you come out the other side, a hundred pounds less. You just leave the sheer, the just, sheer amount. The sheer, you leave <laughs> so much of you behind. Wow! Really? Wow! <laughs> wow! I've, I'm wow. in such a great shape. <laughs> oh my god! What was the? What was? What? Whatever. Let's go to questions. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Let's, Let's go, go to questions. Question. Don't assassinate nobody. Seriously, vote, vote, and repolitics. Vote and stop, stop shooting people, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't shoot. Relax. Don't shoot people. I do think the funny thing too is that like, this was a mass shooting. Technically, yeah, it actually was. It actually qualifies because it was uh, three one people per- got shot. One person died. Three people got injured, which is the qualifier for a mass shooting. So it's a mass shooting at a Trump rally. I'm sure it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and yeah. Then no with, gun- the, with, the, with the with the classic the classic gun of, of course. Well, the, here's the classic the weapon of course. Well, here's the, the, here, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing that I would argue sincerely, and I mean this authentically, yeah. no sarcasm. If guns make us safer. We should at Trump rallies and at every rally going forward, there should be open carry, right? That doesn't surprise. I mean, why not? Like, because to be truth, like, I'm not even joking. (laughs) That dude was posted up there for a while, (laughs) and people were just kind of looking, like, what the fuck is going on? People were pointing at him, and that that was the thing. Apparently, people were like, "Someone's there." So I did hear that the I don't know if that was true or not. Some conflicting stories. Like I heard that there was actually a cop that went up the ladder. And I heard that he either went down from being threatened or he fell from being startled. I've heard that. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's confirmed yet. I've also heard that the Secret Service and the police were communicating. But because of and this is I don't I don't believe this just because of how gun ho cops are that they followed protocol that you can't just shoot someone before they act in that in that state's laws. Like you can't just shoot someone. I'm like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that a cop I would follow could, that. I think. See, it could. To me, it would be like it just coincidentally. Then, and maybe it's true that you found the only cops that actually follow protocol and not just shoot first, ask questions later. Because to, yeah, in every yeah. other scenario, <laughs> you know, you get blasted. Those They're would like, be the cops that they would have right, around right. there. You know what I mean? The For the president, yeah, good ones that follow protocol. Yeah, not and the not ones just, that they just unleash <laughs> at yeah. night like fucking gremlins. Like, it would have been a fucking squirrel on the roof. Actually, and they just shot the whole roof is gone. <laughs> 
That there was, the whole group is gone because they shot it up that much. There was a little Palestinian. He gets critical on it. Blows Palestinian there was a little squirrel. Palestinian hiding in my ear, and they had they had to take the shot. I commend the assassin. He was just trying to help. He was speaking Arabic. It scared us all. We all understand, BB. He has got to do what all he's got to do. All these Zionists. Where's Zion, though? Where? Where is it? Where's Zion? I don't know where that that place is. <laughs> Where's that? Is that next to Terabithia? Where is it? <laughs> Hamdullah, bro. Hamdullah, bro. Hamdullah. Dude, you know what I found out? So, Oregon isn't real. Explain. Like the state. It's not really a- there. Explain. This is more California than it becomes Washington. Did you know that? Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Could, yeah. Good conversation. Yeah. Actually, like the, uh, the people that live in Oregon, I, I checked to like. See if they're okay. They don't exist. <laughs> they're not there. <laughs> they they, they went don't away. exist. <laughs> they say I'm going to Oregon and they disappear. <laughs> it's like the Bermuda Triangle, but on land. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is uh, Jeff Holiday, uh, Jeff and Memory. They they live in Oregon, and then I I, w- I wanted to go say hi to them. And, um, I been- was walking, and then like it was like Oregon, and I took a step, and it said "Welcome to Washington." And I was like, <laughs> "Welcome to Washington." Excuse me. <laughs> That's sick time. That I wish that was true. That no, was you sick. don't. Because well, that, that is the start of the world making not making sense to you. I that mean, means every time you question reality, you're gonna question it again, and you're not gonna be able. What's to an sleep. Oregon accent? Welcome to Oregon. Yeah. That is not the Oregon accent. Are you sure? No, the Oregon I, I accent is a, hello. I'm from Oregon. No, there was a girl that uh, she she, she that. had a taco truck, and she went down to uh, TJ to get the recipe from Oregon, and she was talking. She's like, "I went to a TJ to get the recipe at the tortilla." Are you? Are you? Are you? You? You sound. A little more Jamaican than any Italian person should sound. I think that's how. I think that's. I, <laughs> I think but that that's. Is. But that's what or or origi, Oregonians or, are. Come to Oregon. That's what e, or, e, that's what oreganos are. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the question. Or-gigis. The Bren, <laughs> the Bren word wrote in. The Bren word says, "Hello, fellow Gooners. Considering you all have ethnic backgrounds and you talked about chicken so much, Jesus my Christ. question." Or rather, the advice I'm seeking is, how do you guys like to prepare and season chicken for tacos? I usually poach the chicken and then fry it up in a pan with cumin. <laughs> you mean cumin? cumin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cumin. cumin. I, I call it cumin, too, And uh, paprika and uh, cyan. Uh, and cayenne? Shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't use cayenne at all. Cayenne peppers? Uh, that sounds it's good. Cayenne. PS, it's pretty standard PS, pepper. I don't care about Chris's opinion because he's not black. Jesus Christ, well. Sorry, I don't make tacos, so you shouldn't. Well, first of all, I, I don't like tacos really. Uh, first of all, like, it's, how do you it's, not like tacos? I think that, I don't know. They're so Mexican good. food to me is just kind of like they're okay, great. like it's I don't know. I like burritos and like quesadillas and stuff I if think they're Mexican loaded. Food is delicious. But like a taco is a I don't know, like especially like a, like a white people taco with like the crunchy shell that sucks. No one eats that. Um, no one. No. Yeah, that's you're that's, never, well, that's literally never, called that's like, white people tacos. People, but even the real right, ones that right, you would right. get at like a taco place, where it's like the little the little so thing. like corn, the corn tortilla, the corn tortilla with the, the little corn tortilla with like meat on it. It's like, I guess, like I don't know. I'd rather have this exact meat in like a burrito or something. I mean, I'm or like more, a proper entree. I'm more of a burrito person as well myself, but I do love I love tacos. Well, my thing is I just like flour tortillas better. That's my only thing. Like, say I, if they had too. smaller flour tortillas. On average, I would be like, "Give me a flour tortilla." And I, would I prefer tacos. I prefer flour tortillas for burritos, but for tacos, I think a nice toasted corn tortilla because I think corn corn just rips more. I nice just like corn, it just rips. I it's, like those because the, they're, they're making malleable. they're making tortillas out of dust now. It's like a green energy thing, like yeah. a, like the lab grown meat. Yeah, and there's like a dust tortilla that's actually pretty good. It's very good. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, the thing is, like, first of all, yeah, I don't even, I've, I don't think I've ever made chicken tacos once. Oh, really? No, I mm-hmm. think I've ordered, I've ordered chicken tacos. There's actually um, not too far from us, uh, by the laundromat that I go to. There's a uh, a little stand. It's um, huh? What's that stand? Called? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know that. No, it's, it's by the Smart and Final. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. but anyway. So there's the guy there, and they have some pretty good. The chicken's actually phenomenal. I had a quesadilla, chicken quesadilla from there. It was fucking phenomenal. Oh really? Yeah, it's really good. So it's ten me, fucking dollars, but still, uh, yeah. it's still it's still really good. So what isn't fucking expensive? I, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it's fuck, fucking delicious. But I've never at home, if I've made chicken, was like to make tacos. It's never. It's always if ever I'm making tacos, it's ground beef, 
and I, you know, use a bunch of seasonings or now, uh, cause I really do like Taco Bell seasoning, but the main thing is just, uh, you know, their beef is obviously dog shit. So you literally. get you get good beef. It's literally dog. <laughs> it just squeeze dog shit on your plate. But uh, I, I just they get, roll dogs up like toothpaste. To get all the shit out of them. Just to get all the shit out of them. That's crazy. Yeah. You find flat dogs in a bag of Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 like mats. They're just like they use the they use the their their carcasses as floor mats too. That's crazy. So they, they're very efficient. They throw them out when they start to rot a little bit. You know, they start That's stinking crazy. a little bit. The road to Taco Bell is paved with flat dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We're not lying at all. So That's real. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but what he's saying about tacos is fine. Um, he needs salt. Like, I don't know what the guy's a fucking madman. A little bit of, a little bit of salt. I tried to, I've gotten used to using salt more sparingly. Yeah. I, to me, you to me, meat needs meat. salt. Like, yeah. if, if you don't put, like, you don't have to fucking oversalt it, but... If you're making shit and you don't put salt in it, I think you're 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 you're, you're missing out. Yeah, I season salt, salt is my favorite. Yeah, I use seasoned salt. I my favorite is Morton. Morton's right. seasoned season salt. I used to use Lowry's because that's what I grew up with. My mom was a of Lowry's course. person, but I hate Lowry's because it has sugar in it. it. Has way too much sugar in it. For some reason, for yeah. some reason, but for me, for me, it's uh for me, I always go uh, I go pepper, some nice little bit of salt, uh, sazon. Whenever you cook chicken. And it's gonna. You're trying to have a chicken that's like a nice marinated taste. You always gotta go sazon or adobo. Sounds really good. Always mm. sazon adobo. Uh, garlic powder. Garlic powder. You can never lose with it. Neither the onion powder. If you're not gonna put onions properly in the mix of it, you gotta use some onion powder. Onion powder is great. And you gotta make sure. Another thing I've had recently before that's crazy. People are not gonna believe me. I made um like uh, cheesy burritos. These at home cheesy burritos, and I made it with cream cheese. A little bit of chicken, some cream cheese in there. Uh, some peppers and some salsa. I would never do that, but you know. no, no, no. It you got. I'll make it for you next time you come to my house. Okay, You'll I'll change I'll try it. It is really, really, really good. It's it's simply to have a means of like sort of me- mixing, holding the spicy flavor while it's still having sort of a, a relatively creamy texture. I it's delicious. You I'll try it, but like I just, I just, I, f- I, I'll try. It. That's all I'm, I'm gonna not, say. I'm not. A, I'm not a person that likes mixing. Uh, That's all I'm gonna say. I'll try cream it. cheese with shit all the time, but Bro, I tried I don't, it. And I don't it was fuck good. with cream cheese at all. Like I, at used, all? I, I used to use Me it on either, bagels really. back in the day, but um, I stopped eating bagels. It's just too much bread. Um, it's I a just, lot of bread. Yeah, it, it's just it's too much bread. Like, I had I, cream cheese this morning. That was like for my breakfast. Huh? Just a bowl of cream cheese? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, it was. I had like I had like eggs. I had like uh, I did like uh, like sourdough toast. I did like one side with eggs like, and a bowl butter. of cream cheese. Right. <laughs> It was like peanut butter, fruits, and chia seeds, and then it was the other one was like uh, cream cheese, uh, chia seeds, and fruit. Dude, when I was a kid, fucking I fucking bomb. Really, so, really good. Sometimes when I was a kid, I would like just good. I would I would take a bunch of shredded mozzarella, put it in a bowl, and eat it. Dude, much, like, while I was like playing video games, mozzarella is a great cheese to just snack on. There's dude. something about I don't know what it doesn't it's, taste in my like, very much because it's That's exactly it, that. there's like a blandness to it exactly, but it also like it does taste like something when you get enough of it. It's like mm. it's a perfect snack. It's, it's like a really good snack. You know what I used to eat, I used to eat mayonnaise, mozzarella sticks are so good. Mayonnaise and lettuce sandwiches because I thought that's what sandwiches were. <laughs> be like, man, be like, man. You're not. Are you? I can't tell if you're serious or not. God, I was like, I was like three, four. I feel like that wouldn't be so bad. Really, I would like, I would like, because the the because the meat, cause the meat would be in a fridge, and I couldn't conceptualize what dimension of the room it would be in. It'd be like a full fridge, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. There's lettuce. Bread, <laughs> that's crazy. Mayonnaise, and that's I would eat crazy. it. You went to mayonnaise and, before meat is crazy. <laughs> no, I couldn't uh, decipher where the meat that was. Is crazy because there'd be dude. like meat that was gonna be cooked, and I'm like, should I put this chicken on that pink? No, that's weird. <laughs> You're speaking like somebody who should have been assassinated, right? They would never get me. I've been I've been attempted on my life several times. It doesn't work <laughs> for some reason. The shooter always dies. Many men. That's crazy. Many, many, I hated how many, much many, they, said, they saw that dude because I love Fifty Cent and I hate seeing Donald Trump singing Fifty Cent. Wish like sex that. upon me. They make butt threats on me, but my butt ain't, my butt ain't open no more. That 50 Cent thing was crazy. Yeah. I'm surprised no, he's still 50 Cent no, in this economy. No. Uh, yeah. The, uh, he's probably want, like at least four or five dollars now. Yeah. All the he's, inflation. I'm five dollars. <laughs> it's me, five dollars. <laughs> he comes $5. back as five dollars. Aftermath. <laughs> or I'm 500 <laughs> cents. I'm 500 cents currently. Jesus Christ. 500 cents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> I want a row of I want a row of guys. I want to be on my knees because I miss those days. I miss fucking all those twinks. I don't uh, parentheses. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh oh uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you really got to start name? with the Aerosmith. song title, please. Yeah, like, like please I don't help know, us out like with I'm that. already done with it. I'm not gonna reread it. So 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I got it now. Maybe next time. Wait, that doesn't even. I want a roll. It's da na 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 na. I want a roll. The see, there's miss. It's missing. It's I, missing some what, shit. I don't know. You have to say like, I do want a row of guys for it to work. I do want a row of guys. Like, I thought this was like, and I don't want to miss a thing. It is that. So it starts off with, right? I don't want to close my eyes. Oh right, right. So it, it, there is this missing. I want a row. Of, I guess it could so work. I, but like, yeah, say, like, I, I know do, what you mean. Like, I do want a row of guys. I want to be on my knees. Yeah. See, it was just missing. Because I miss those days. Yeah. 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 I see. Anyway. I do want to. He says thing. he writes in. He says I named my rabbit Kingston, uh, after Sweeney. That's all. Mahalo, mulattoes. Oh, awesome! Thank you, man. Mahalo. Hope your rabbit lives a nice life and it prospers. I don't know. How do you feel about an animal being named after you? Don't really care that much. Really? Yeah. I think it's weird when people's animals have human names sometimes. Right. That's but what I'm saying. But at the same time, it being named after me is kind of different. You know, it's like it's he named it after me out of his endearment for me. But like when you go to some place, what like, if he's molesting it? And that's <laughs> fucked up. That's just it. Dude, like, that's molesting just, a fucking rabbit. I don't know, man. But the idea of it is like, you People know, are sick. A, one yeah. of our friends has a dog and his name is Tiffany. That's disgusting. Yeah. And my sister's name is Tiffany. And I was like, why would that's not a name for a beast? So a lot of people do, or like the hook. My, friend, my friend's Gary. dog's name was Dylan. Yeah, that's way worse. That's I'm like, way worse. the fuck? Dylan is. is <laughs> Dylan? Dylan is such a little crazy white dog. And it was a little white Pigeon. And I was like, this is that dog's a white person. That dog's a school shooter. Like, come most here, Dylan. <laughs> come here, Roof. Come here, Dylan Roof. It's crazy. Come here, Dylan Roof. <laughs> it is crazy how many school and it shooters. Comes in and it is just walking over with the. For some oh, reason, no. every time you see that dog in the camera, it's doing the stride. <laughs> the Columbine stride. Oh, Dude, every God. single. Every <laughs> that single. Image goes hard. I hate how much that I, image goes look, hard. Look, I hate to generalize, but I will. I hate to generalize, but I will. Here, Every Dylan is a school shooter. That is true. No, no, I it's know just, one, it's just I know, true. I know one Dylan that he has the urge, but he represses it. <laughs> right. He gets, if the you, urge, he gets the urge, and he's like, literally, Ugh. Literally, go throughout history, look up every single school shooter. You will find that all their first names are named Dylan, I promise yeah. you. And if, every, it's, and, if it, and if you find information that's contrary, they're lying. They're covering it up. It's the lying. Dylans. We're, it's, it's, big of, Dylan. it's Big Dylan. It's Big, it's big Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The idea, he gets really mad sometimes, and he, he expands. He grows a little bit. Uh, so you see like uh, uh, you know like Hellboy like you know his, his, uh, his <laughs> horns start growing and shit like he'll complete and destroy the world like it's like that but they start spying an AK uh, or uh, a fucking AR-15 uh, they start spotting an AR-15 they gotta they got they gotta shave no, it down they gotta no! sh- <laughs> they gotta shave it back down to make sure that they don't fucking get to the complete like, the the process like Dylan, man you're you're almost gone you almost transformed he's like I know man I would have <laughs> killed everybody in that fucking building man. <laughs> Oh uh, man, aren't they doing another Hellboy? They need to stop. I I want them to stop because it, without Del Toro and um and uh and Ron Perlman, that that, that even, was magic. even the second one was kind of ass, dude. Uh, w- the second one was the best one. Really, I absolutely so much more. I t- <laughs> what? Really? Am I crazy? Dude, for the that? Del Toro, yes. Dude, the Golden Army, the Del Toro one. That am I crazy for liking that one more? I you maybe out of nostalgia I understand, but like it I is the second one the... is just a better movie. Really? Yeah, cinematography wise, writing cost, it's just better and more money. I have that feeling with um Half Life. Half Life, you like one more than two? I re- I think Life Half Life one is like exceptionally better than two. I but mean, I think two, a lot of people like Half Life two is like that. It's like a physics thing where it's like whoa, this was crazy at the time. Two but like, was by a the more time, fun video game. No, by the time I played two, I had already like played so many other games with impressive physics that like it was just kind of lost on me. Look, it was I'm, like a Citizen Kane type deal. It's like, oh, it's the first time this is kind of happening. It's like, yeah, I already saw this though. Um, I uh, one was good. I'll say about I that's how I feel a about fun game. I think two is a better. Video that's how game, I feel though. about. Um, and, and, I think it's reverse actually. Um, and yeah. I, I, like I'm on the I'm on the uh, what do you call it? I'm on the outs of uh of um uh, your your tattoo. Oh my god! Oh my Rage god! Against Bioshock. Thank you. It, but, but it was it got pushed out of my head. I was like, oh no, help me, <laughs> help me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm on the outs where I've played um, all of them multiple times, but I just enjoy. I think because of the politics of uh, Infinite, I just enjoy it better. Yeah, but really? I know it's not a better game. I like one so much more than all the other ones. 
I think I love I love Infinite. I think Infinite's great, but it's Infinite's definitely more really cool of like story. it's more fun to play in like a kind of traditional yeah. kind of like it's it's just a it's a good shooter. Yeah, and whereas I think, like the original Bioshock's not really as good of a shooter, but it's just kind of a good. It's just a better. Yeah, it's yeah. a better experience, I think. But like, I understand that. Like Infinite's and, Infinite's great. I, a lot of people hate Infinite now, but like I don't. I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we we've talked about that where it's just like I, I think those people are kind of nuts, but it, but like uh, in the the thing where I said like I don't think there's anything wrong with the first one, uh, Hellboy. I don't think there's anything wrong with. It. I just think the just the story. I just think everything about it, the story, some of the shots, like especially when I, I think uh, when they're in the streets and they have to kill like the last of those fucking like that green giant plant thing. Mm-hmm. And it was such a conflicting moment because you're like, it's the last one of its kind, but you have to take it down because it's kind of terrorizing the city. Oh yeah, when and then when, when it blows its building, brains out, and then building, you see right? like it's fucking blood and it's it basically remains in the uh and the the that yeah the, it's like the, spider-man starts growing everywhere it's that is such a fucking beautiful scene that is like one of the best shot scenes i've seen in a long time where i was like it, it was one of those things from from a stupid fucking hellboy movie where i'm like del toro and his team know what the fuck they're doing it's like shrek and spider-man where it's like the first movies are really good like there's literally no problem with them but like I mean, those sequels are crazy. Like those are crazy. Like Shrek Two is crazy as a sequel. Shrek Two like, has no, no business. Shrek, that's, that's true. That's true. It is really it's insane. True. I saw it again recently. Shrek was Two like, is this one of is the best crazy. sequels ever, and it's like why? It's really good. I mean, that, that is interesting. Like uh, X X Two actually, even X Two X Two is so fucking. It's good, It's really dude. good, dude. It's the so cinematography is really good. The, the choreography is really good, dude. The opening, the opening scene with fucking uh, uh with, with Bobby Mike, with uh. Oh no! Open no, the opening scene with, with, uh, with Nightcrawler. With Nightcrawler, yes. and then the other scene after that is Bobby and his family's yeah. house. You're right, dude. That yeah. shit was so fucking cool. Like, well, I was like, that is impressive for what is it? Two thousand three? Two thousand one? I thought it was, thought it was cool, but I was like, why is Nightcrawler hurting people? You had to. <laughs> That's the only thing I bothered. I was like, why? You had to look. Every, you had to from the first movie. You had to already throw away a lot of other shit. That's who everybody wasn't everybody. Else. That yeah. is the moment where I think is people. I have. I hear people say that. Uh, that um James. What his name? Uh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman was a James bad Wolverine. James Jackman. <laughs> well, Almost he, a huge, huge. Wait, what? Huge, was, huge ass man. Yeah, what huge was, jacked man. People said he was a bad Wolverine, and I think they didn't. People, those people haven't really watched the second X Men movie. He was amazing. I think he's just movie. not a good physical fit for the. Character. That was the glaring issue. That was the glaring issue. Like but I had, like, I had all my, I had Wolverine toys. It would be like growing if Ethan up. Ralph was like uh, <laughs> Peter Parker or something. Oh like, my! It's no, like, it's <laughs> not that egregious. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> But look, 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 to be fair, when you, when <laughs> I you think it's kind of that. We look at Wolverine in the first. How? It's <laughs> how it's, that is because you have a tall fucking Jack guy. And he's supposed to be a small. Well, he's Jack barely. Guy. Even, he's barely even jacked. That's the thing. He's just in, in good shape. In, right. in, in that one, in he's one in, and two, he's in and he wasn't good jacked. Shape. In three, he was muscular. He started getting. He's like, I need to be the role. And then by the time, like freaking what you call it, Wolverine should hit. He looked like Bro. a fucking. He looked the sore. Wolverine he was he so he shredded. Sore. He was so <laughs> imagine fucking shredded. No, he was crazy in the one when he went back in time. Which was, which oh, Days of Future Past was his biggest. I was like, why is he look like Future that? Future Past was, was his like, biggest by far. That's why they had that when he first went back in yeah, time. And he had the, claw, and he he's had naked. the bone claws, and I was like, he was yo. naked. He was naked when he went first but went back in time because they wanted Whoa. to show off his physique. What do you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just imagining very vividly like Ethan Ralph crying over Uncle Ben. <laughs> I just and then decided to eat him. <laughs> I think he would be like, good. Fuck you, Uncle Ben. Fuck you, Uncle Ben. Limpar cut. D- die. Suffer, I'm Uncle go Ben. I'm going to fucking... Suffer. <laughs> Suffer. Suffer, I'm going to go to fucking uh, Brazil. <laughs> or whatever it is. Where's oh, he going to Portugal? Portugal. <laughs> I'm going to go to Portugal and get fucking molested. I'm going to go get my ass fucked in Portugal. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he was, I think, I think he was good. I, I think so many people are bad. Like, dude, I this is one thing that bothers me. A lot of people don't get mad about this. The fact that Tobey Maguire's eyes are blue makes me so angry. Does it? Because Peter Parker's eyes are not blue. That doesn't bother me. I don't think I don't think notice people's eye color really at all. I, I, unless they're I, I like, think, unless they're piercingly blue. The thing is that the me, thing is that that is a that's it, a trait of Peter's that is like expressed. And I think as I read comics, is why I know that. Right. He's supposed to be super average in every way that he can be. That if there's times when his mask comes off, people are like, oh, "That's a dude. That's a man." Mm. You know, and blue eyes are kind of a defining feature. Like blue I, eyes I are think, not common. I think for exactly. me, I I don't know. I guess not. Well, not, I mean, they're I so think, easy I think to they're, miss. I think I guess they are easy to miss. Unless they're like again, like piercing, like you're a devil. Yeah, like there yeah. are some. Uh, w- dude, eyes I met somebody see. recently. I saw oh, somebody, one of our friends. <laughs> no, not even close, dude. I I met I saw somebody at a fucking uh, <laughs> at the bakery. I went to go get uh, this. I don't remember what pastry it is. I just know it when I see it. 
but I like it. I like to get it sometimes. And I was at the bakery and I was in line and this guy came in and it looked like his eyes were so blue. They looked white, like uh, pale. He's like almost blind. <laughs> it looked almost like, like you could see his pupils from far away. I'm just like, blue Yo. eyes scare me. They actually make me feel like uncomfortable. I, I'm fine. Like create like very bl- like the ones that they're so blue they look like like the White Walker types. Yeah, they look like the uh, color blue, not like <laughs> just blue eyes. Tony McGuire's like, eyes though, like aren't they're blue? They, I just they don't, are. I, I just don't really think. I it, don't, like, I've never paid. I, I feel like you never looked at his eyes. That's why. Because for me, I was I've like that's, obviously looked at his <laughs> eyes. I feel like you never really like. Look, sorry, you might have seen his eyes. Probably didn't really probably really look so. But look if at I don't, his but eyes. that's kind of thing. Is if I don't notice it. I never, I never thought about it. I never once I thought about it. I noticed that because I'm a fucking dumb comic person. I was like, oh, that's Peter. Wait a minute. No. No. Why no. Why no. You? Yo, that's not a freaking out of the theater. Yeah, there's, also comics, like, there's also comics that kind of insinuate that he's Jewish and they didn't do that. You know. Mm. I mean, that's also true. That's so, also true. But, yeah, that's true. I, to me, which it has I to don't be, like. I don't. I, I just think that's so. Do you like just, that he's Jewish? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that they like. No, whoa, my thing is that whoa, they don't. Whoa. Know, they never really whoa. insinuate Spider-Man <laughs> having a culture more than being a New Yorker. But then even at times, he's like. The most New York character, but then not really at the same time. Okay, Hamas. <laughs> I, I, my whole statement, I said nothing about it being Jewish. At I know, all. You're sounding you sound like yeah. Hamas right now. This is really. I think you need to apologize to the ADL. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not. If you don't apologize, <laughs> we they're gonna they're gonna this apartment will no longer exist. So you better apologize. Yeah. That's too Go much. contact I'm, the ADL right I'm, now. I'm really, I'm really, really sorry. Please don't take my wife's job and my job for me. Please, I, I want to be able to succeed in this field. Please don't, don't do that to me. Take my job. <laughs> don't take my You're job. You're making it way worse right now. You're making it way I, worse. I know. Or... I know. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Please, seriously, though. You need job. to apologize. I'm, I'm from not. New York like you guys. Oh, <laughs> you need to apologize right now. <laughs> I'm from New York. I'm from like New York. York. I love I'm your bagels. York. I swear. I love your bagels. I love them. Um, I love I love Larry's David. He's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love Larry's David. Oh, I just found there's a Nathan's Bagels. You ever been there? Oh, really? There's one here? Yeah. No. Yeah. Where? What the fuck? It's... Wait, Nathan's? Nathan's bagels. I've I've had Nathan's, <laughs> not Nathan's dogs, but bagels. I don't like Nathan's Wait, let me at make all. Sure. That one. Wait, Wait I, I may have look s- it up. Look it up. Let me make sure I'm saying the right name. I I've, might I might have fucked it up. I haven't had a been a, had a bagel in years. I might have really? fucked it up. Yeah. Uh, maybe I fucked. Have it you up ever now. had a? Oh no, I had one when I was in New York. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it, it, Nathan. That's the wrong name. Uh, it's Noah's New York bagels. Oh, I haven't had that yet. Okay. Have you had it? I, no, I want to try it though. I get Noah's usually like when I'm when I'm deciding to eat shit like that. I get I get Noah's. I want to try because it, it looked like the place looked Very cool. Good. I was like, I'm not really they a bagel close, guy, but I was like, that looks delicious. They're like, expensive. They have like oh, weird really hours expensive. though. Like they like they close at like it is four. closing soon. Yeah. It just so really like, said right now. It's a, it's, a, it's a morning food place. That's why. <laughs> Fuck, I don't. So, I you don't, guys had to come with us to Pasadena. We go to this place called. Um, I don't eat breakfast, man. Fuck, no, breakfast, don't eat breakfast. I it's because well, first of all, I don't I don't get up as early as you. I mean, what time you get up? Um, well, if I, if it's my choice, I get up at nine. Nine? Yeah. You usually get up earlier than I do. I usually like, I usually, if I'm not what? working out in the morning, I usually get up at like 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. If I'm going to the gym in the morning, I'll get up at like, like maybe eight to like wake yeah. my brain up before I go in the gym and be half dead. I was getting up early because of JoJo, but those days are over, buddy. I love it. Dude, I've been trying to do nighttime gym shit, dude. That shit is so grueling. I. Nighttime gym is so I don't so like going to the gym me. at night. I used to like it for a while. I used to go at 1130. I used to go to 1130, uh, mainly because just the gym was empty. That's the be- that's the best reason to do yeah. it, really. That was that for was me, my favorite. It's, hard. it's like I, I'm doing it again tonight, and I'm stressed out about it because I just feel like by seven I'm so already like. Well, well if I ever have to do peak if I have to do energy. gym sessions at night, I have to take a, like at least an hour nap, forty minutes. It has to be forty minutes to an hour. So I'd say at least forty minutes is what I meant. I need to take forty minutes to an hour nap just to even if I wake up a little groggy, I know within like uh, the next couple hours I'm be juiced up. What are you handing me? Would you do a dab of acid this big? <laughs> you know how much acid that is, Chris. How uh, how big know. are they on average? Like yeah. the like how big is it like a regular tab? Like this big. Like like uh, these parameters. Oh, like like and so, that's a full tab that people usually don't do if they're not fucking fiends. Yeah, I've never I've never done psychedelics before. I'm, yeah, stay away from them. I I, I just don't trust myself. <laughs> Why? I um I think my dude, it's because George Bush is gonna cut pop out of your shirt. I mean, if I'm wearing the he shirt, just yeah. the, he just he just turns. He's like, look away. If, if I'm wearing the like shirt, George Bush. <laughs> Yo, that would be fucking Wash amazing. Wash the sick uh, drive, and I'm like, what the oh fuck, Eric? God. What's going on, bro? I kind of you know it's, it's so fucked up to think we're like, man, boy, George Bush sucks so much. Fuck this motherfucker. And now you just go back and you're like, damn. I'll take that. He's, he, he was still I'll very bad. Like, I'll take that shit, bro. He was a terrible president, like, but he wasn't horrible. Yeah. And foreign policy-wise, yeah. Of He's course. Pretty, pretty terrible. But, I'm just like, but as, a, as an individual, I could let I'll it slide. I'll take that fucking goofball, you man. Know? 
Go kill millions of people, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, go look, go, go, go look for oil and lie about it being or look like, for weapons the of mass destruction. Is, the question is, do you do we do we think anything would have been different with any other president? I don't know. Because I feel like we still would have went over there and I, I just feel like they have nothing to do with that shit, really. Who who like I he, feel they like, could stop it, but then I feel like his head's blown off. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oil, I thought you said toil oh isn't, isn't that like actually uh isn't that like when you think about historical uh, uh presidential assassinations or attempts most of them if you look at the, the the paper trail of them or the evidence or whatever it's because they were doing something that was that went against like the quote unquote the powers that be uh and that was like say if you go back to go, JFK go back is by far the one the most JFK, one by a well, huge if amount if you think about like james garfield what he tried to do That's if you think true. about fucking um well go all the way back to andrew jackson and he it was an attempt uh i think multiple attempts and then he, he has a quote saying like he defeated the, the you know the the central banking systems he defeated the banks well but, like the whole thing and i hate like there's a bunch of crazy people that tie like you yeah, know yeah. the jews to the banks and i'm like no shut the fuck up it's just it's just actual just well, the monetary crazy, control the that's crazy it. thing about that it's that's such a wild wait wait wait, wait, people, wait, wait. And, I, the crazy thing yeah. about all this is yeah. that like if you look back at the history of every single presidential assassination ever in the history of presidential assassinations yeah i'm not kidding okay all of them by accident um, it's really it's insane. Like, like they it's like, insane. They like someone meet, slipped they on a banana or something. No, they just thought it was somebody else. <laughs> Oswald's like, die, bitch, you cheating! Oh, oh, that's Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait. Oswald Lee Harvey Oswald shot Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, he did too. He yeah. was there. He was also there. They're the same person, actually. <laughs> he shot Lincoln, but it was also him. He was like, what the hell? And it was like, it was both of the same picture. motherfuckers ancient. He's like, <laughs> he's like, what is he? How old are we? Like, oh, I wish I knew their ages. It's John Wilkes in the booth. Because I know it's not It's not a ridiculous amount. Well, yeah, it is. It's, he's got to be like, insane. It's, it's insane. over like 100. It's he's quite, a, like it's quite, it's quite a bit. It's, so it's, Lincoln died in 18... 2006. <laughs> I'm thinking 88, but I could be wrong. 1888? You think? I'm thinking 88, but I very I much don't think no I'm wrong. I have no fucking clue, actually. Lincoln got shot and he was in a coma for 100 years. <laughs> Why you did for the freaking, like, um, Mike, um, freaking, what's his name? For the What <laughs> like, they did for, um, freaking, what's his name? Um, Luther King. He was in a coma for fucking, like, two decades. No, two decades. Like, five decades. And he came back and he was like, you are all a bunch oh, of right, dumb right, black right, right. people. Right when he when he st- when he got up and started talking about uh, BT and all that shit, yeah, that was funny. That shit hit me hard when I was little. I was like, I was like, Whoa. I was like, yeah, you spitting facts. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I, I kind of, I, I don't like what he's saying, but at the same time, it, it's, he's, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not oh, wrong. some vodka bottle wrote in. Oh, let's go. 1885. I was closer than I thought, man. Wait, so he died like right after the Civil War? Wait, yes, what? literally right after. The Civil well, War. yeah, that's kind of yeah. Because was... see, the Civil War happened, and he had like, he he was actually like. Probably terrified oh, the progressive. Oh, wait, 85. Wait, what did yeah. you say? 85. Oh, wait. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay. The war okay. sorry, 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 right? No, there was still plenty of time. There's still plenty of time before, after the Civil War. Yeah. No, I, I it was, wasn't, it, wasn't the war 83? No, I think no, it, was, the Civil it, war. it ended in the 60s. I think it ended in the 60s, right? Yeah, the Civil War? It, I thought the Emancipation, I, emancipation I, Proclamation was 1865. Am I, am I wrong? No, I the war, no, the War of 1812 was in 1865. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Shut the fuck up, dude. Somebody come out of the road and he says, what is the most horrendous fucking fit you have witnessed in public? So bad you still remember it. Some dude came to work in his with his clothes all raggedy right. with non-fitting yeah. stained clothes and cat ears. He smelled like pickled jizz. So knowing <laughs> knowing what that's, those stains were offended me. Pickled j- Dude, why do you know what that smells I mean, like, sir? I be trying to, I be trying sir. to, I be trying on the furries team, man. I be trying to be on their team, bro. And it's like, pick wait wait wait, wait guys! Pick, I want to be on your team, man. I'm trying to help, brother. Pickle jizz is the grossest thing I could think pickle of. Pickle jizz, brother. Just imagine coming in a jar and then putting vinegar in it, vinegar? letting that shit mar- <laughs> marinate. That, <laughs> ah, that, that's what I said. Like it's so gross. I feel like it would move. <laughs> it would swim. Oh, it, it would, <laughs> you would see, you would see a hand touch the screen. Ew! Like a hand, <laughs> ew! A handprint in inside the glass. Yeah. That's fucking scary. No, dude. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> we got to get rid of this. Um, I saw a grown man wearing Daisy Dukes one time with his wife and kids. That's fucking cool. And I was like, uh, what's well, good, gang? He had an ass on him, too. I was like, good job, to bro. To me, it's, it's all the, it's the anime stuff. It's like whenever somebody has like a, not anime stuff explicitly, but like the somebody I saw somebody wearing like a, like hentai pants. 
or whatever, like pants with like oh, hentai, with hentai on it. With hentai on it, I'm like, that's, that's kind of funny. Dude, they're they're getting way it's more funny, comfortable. It's like, uh, that's kind of funny. They're getting really comfortable. When with I see all it on shit. cars and shit, I lose it. They're I'm just starting, like, they're, cars they're starting to get much. sports cars and putting hentai on them, dude. That's fucking gay. It's bro. pissing me off. First of all, I'm like, that's why are you driving a fucking sports car? You're not cool. Stop. And number People two, to have sports cars in civilian life is always the weirdest shit to me. Yeah, because they like, don't—they don't actually do anything with it's them. It's like, what are you yeah. doing with that? Well, it's like the street queens with the trucks. They don't use them for hauling anymore. That's yeah, true. <laughs> I, I don't normally subscribe to the whole like, oh, you're compensating for something thing because I just think people just like random things and it's uh, not really that. Yeah, but I—I do, I don't know. There's something about like specifically sports cars and street racing, where like you got a clitoris basically. Car racing is you so insane. I think racing is so fucking wild. I just think these people are dumber think, than shit. I think it's so dangerous. It's like, that, what are you exactly fucking that. doing, dude? There's a street in um off of um in Hostian, sorry, in uh, Roland 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 Heights that uh, I forget what the street is called, but it is a fucking famous. Ra- so many people have died there. You know, you know where the so crest they, is in La Crescenta? Where the crest? Oh, we're right, La Crescenta. The uh. Going towards like the big viewing area that you can see all of LA. I oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know someone that almost fell off of that. Yes, yeah, like he's almost there. drove clean off of that, and I was like, what are you talking dude, about? You should have let him. Huh? One of my one of my friends from work. He almost like they were racing, and he almost like his car flipped off. Luckily, it like stopped because he could have just like fell oh, down hate. from the mountain to like downtown I, 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 LA. People, <laughs> people who drive that irresponsibly so like that really infuriate me. I, 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 I do. Just, I think racing is such a wild thing. I think racing is like. You, Look, dude. Yeah. Use drugs. Get your throw somewhere else. Like, don't do that. Stop shit. doing shit that also puts other people in danger. Exactly. That's the exactly one. That's that. my yeah. one ask, man. You know. Yeah. What? One thousand percent. Like uh, I like I'm a king of doing dumb shit. I've set fires before. You know. You've you've endangered some people. But like I'm not. I'm. <laughs> well, I'm you've, probably worse. <laughs> you've, you've endangered some people, but luckily nothing happened. No, yeah. Like, luckily, nothing, nothing's ever. They've never come back and be like, "This happened to me." So yeah. I can plead ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never. I've just that I don't fireball. Know. I heard screams, man. That's I heard screams, funny. and I, I was like, "Uh oh!" And I walked away. If I saw that, I would scream too. So I get it. Yeah, <laughs> it landing right inside of a carriage with a baby. <laughs> 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 it just engulfs immediately, and the baby explodes. The baby had TNT on it for some reason. I don't know why. And if I saw if I saw a fireball fly out of a out of a window. In the Bronx, I would moan it with in, intense pleasure. I think, I think I would come. Oh. Oh, that would start you down a really dangerous path. Can you fucking imagine the, <laughs> shit, the shit you'd be watching afterwards? Like, give me with you. That would be really. Look, yeah, man, you already you already down a dangerous path, and that didn't happen. If that did happen, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I tell you, this podcast would be very different. <laughs> This would be, 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 be way funnier. <laughs> it'd be way. Yeah. It'd be way funnier, but also like. No sponsors. It'd be, it'd be way ever. funnier and on the dark web. <laughs> oh, this <is> hilarious. <laughs> did you see this? Did you see did you see that? Did you see that bolt of lightning go straight through that wind, that kitchen and hit that poor boy trying to sleep? Couple <laughs> uh oh, yeah, let's, let's couple, couple comments before we'll, we'll wrap it up. Let's do it. Uh Already keep it two sh- hours. Keep it shorter. This, this yeah, we're gonna keep it short. Yeah. Uh Thank Mortal you. C- Mortal Cum Fat wrote in. He says, I was listening to the last episode, Boogie awesome. 298 is cook uh is cooked cancer edition. Yeah. Uh, while I was eating lunch and the Yajirobi impression made me choke on my food for an actual minute. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. That was fucking I don't excellent. Know, I don't know where I got th- I don't you, know if I can do it again. You just it was one of those things where you he can't it's not gonna be <laughs> 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 It was very good. <laughs> when you just do it perfectly and you nail it, it's like, yep, can't be replicated. That's I think when you do this, that you give up part of your life. That was like the fucking, yeah. uh, oh my god, yeah, did something else. The Mike Tyson happen. thing. Yeah, you did it. I did. You did a Mike Tyson impression way too well, and, and then like, it's, it's gone. I can't, I literally couldn't do it again. It's like you think about it and it just doesn't work. Nope. Is a conscious mind, dude. We're yeah. limit. We're limited. We're limiting ourselves. I, if it's open our minds to our full extent. Yeah, I want to unlock my unconscious it'd be mind terrible, and, and I'd scream. Be, I'd be a proficient racist. I'd be like such a proficient. I'd just be screaming. Alopecia on my pussy. Call me Jada Pink Cunt Slit. Rodin. Damn, that's a bar. That's pretty good. That is a bar. <laughs> Eminem. Is that from that. Eminem's new album? <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's yeah. from his new album. <laughs> so I'm so fucking bad. Bro. <laughs> I don't think it's bad, really. Them. You really think it's? You don't. Think, I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's, it's definitely better than a lot of the stuff that he's put out lately. I think it's like a solid like six or something. I think it's better than what he's done, but I think it's very cringe at the same time. I mean, it's like, this is just old music. You, they, I think my, my what I thought the album was going to be was exactly what it turned out to be. It was going to be like, why do you want this? I don't get it. I agree. I like you know? the fact Which that, he's, I like like, that. Like, he's like, I'm not this really anymore. I'm kind of a grown man. But if you want this, 
Hey, make fun of me. I'm fucking Eminem. I'm the best rapper here's, here's what I don't like about it. Here's what I don't like about it. There's too many there's too many jokes at the expense of the same people over and over again. Mm-hmm. That's what really kind of gets on my nerves about it. I think it sounds pretty decent. There's like I think like five tracks that I really don't like. Uh, and then the rest of it's like, okay, I like some of this. But like it's just like, all right, Caitlyn Jenner, this, Caitlyn Jenner, that's like, okay, I get it. Like there's there's gotta be somebody else. You know? Yeah. Like, there's gotta be somebody else that you can you could pick on. That Christopher Reeves dance song was fucking crazy. That was wild. That was one of the most disrespectful things I've I've heard in a long time. In a fun way. But like I just wish Eminem yeah. did features, man. Do features. Do what Little Wayne does. Do features. Oh yeah. Like, you should do that a long time ago. Do features. Just, yeah, you should yeah. just like his, like him and like homicide with him and logic is a good fucking song. And Eminem's a great part of it. And I think that's what he should do, man. I think you make you don't have to make albums forever, you know. Yeah, I, I, you don't have to. I don't be know in a why he feels forever, like he man. needs to do that because he could just go. Pro- he could just produce. I think he feels like he still needs to prove himself. What? I think he still, needs to, I think he still needs to prove himself. And I feel like, dude, you've already, you've already, like, look, you've, you've made more bad than good. Just stop. Yeah, that's, that's very the true. Thing. That's just true. stop. That's true. Stop doing that. He he should have stopped with rap god. Cause that actually got him a lot of a lot of people were excited about that just that one like line semen on a human and you know like you know the like that I hate that song but yeah. I don't like it but I'm saying people received it positively stop they just just let just do people features that's yeah it. like like come let people, on a song for somebody say some wild shit on a song yeah just, and then dip. just keep saying the f yeah. slur <laughs> the thing about it is like this, it's the first time it's the first time in a long time that I've listened to an album and I've heard songs that actually sound like songs. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, this is a song instead of just like a beat where he's like flexing how well he can like oh, rhyme he can, Yeah. And it's like, I, I appreciate I the technical skill of it, but like his last several albums have had no songs on them. Yeah. It's just him rapping. I don't, it's like, I don't value that really. very true. I think that's my problem. It's very true. I mean, I'm very quickly in my life turned into somebody that he went from someone that said a lot of shit in a very articulate way to someone that said nothing very fast. Um. Uh, yeah. He I, says nothing. He says his his. Considering the fact that what he used to be, he was always saying something. Even if it was extraordinarily derogatory, he was saying some like well, serious I don't know if that's, shit. I think that's kind of like historical rewriting a little bit because a lot of his early stuff that's popular isn't really saying much of anything either. I disagree. What the fuck is my name is? Huh? That's what the him fuck say, is he saying? Th- that's him talking about him being himself in a in a, in a, in a rap. In a rap. Kid. That's Are literally like every single. That's, that's literally most of his. That's what that's what the problem is now is that that's all he's talking about. No, I feel like before it's just like I'm me. No, it's bef- like cool. I think I'm bef- Slim Shady, or some the real lady, I'm the other nigga shadies and niggas all dating. <laughs> is that the they real just, niggas, it's just niggas, like it's just like they're, 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 they're just not nigga. good. They're just, they're just generally like like I thought Fuel was good uh, with JID. Thought that was a fucking good. I think Jid is, Jid is, uh, is great. <laughs> that's why it's all everything he's a father is good. Yeah, he needs and, to make more music too. It's crazy. He stopped making music for a while. It's really hmm. insane. Really, he stopped. He hasn't made music in a long time. It's the first but, time he's shown up in a while. But the thing, yeah. But the thing is that, like, weird it, over COVID and like, like the years, the few years prior to COVID and over COVID, that whole group was making music all the time. Like Dreamville was making music constantly, and it was like, you guys are probably tired. It's like like Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny made music for like three years straight, and it's like. That Take a break, bro. That guy has more money than he needs. Like he's fine. Wait, dude. He's fine. <laughs> he made so much money over 2020, 21, and twenty two was crazy. Dude, that 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 the, he could single handedly make Puerto Rico a way way better place if he wanted. Dude, to. Dude, the Latin community is the that's that is. I wish I knew how to. Yeah, <laughs> I wish yeah. I knew Spanish, Drake Bell. Bro. Drake Drake Bell, Bell like, that's made, how he made, made a whole it. fucking career over he there. He didn't. Nothing happened over here. I um. I listened crazy, to. Man. I listened to his album that he dropped in, a, in like you know his English. Span- oh, the, no, his English nothing, like right. a long time ago. And I remember there was like two songs. I'm like, ah, oh, a couple of these songs are kind of all right. And I remember I, <laughs> I never forget this. My brother's a fucking nerd, you know, and he he's not like crazy about music, but he always listens. And I played him. I tried to be like. Let me. I want you to listen to this and tell me what you think. And he was like, "This is fucking dog shit." And I was like, "Oh, I just. I'm sorry, Drake. I tried. I tried to give Drake Bell, like, you know, to see if yeah. anybody could objectively listen to it and think maybe it. It was like when he was actually first starting his career, and people just didn't like it. Even my brother, that's not even like the biggest music critic, was just like, "This is dog shit." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay, yeah." Then, well, sorry, the music is fucking powerful, dude. Huh? The Latin American music is powerful because it's music is such a huge cultural thing that they listen to you, they'll listen to you forever and constantly all the time. It just makes me mad that so much of it is so like 
I'll like, I can do this. Empty music. I can, if, if I could speak Spanish, I would probably get a billion streams. Oh, yeah. Because lyricism <laughs> doesn't matter over there. <laughs> it's really just about how the words sound. Like that. What, I, I can't fucking believe how big Despacito got. Yeah. That song. Like, I've heard some good songs in that fucking genre of music. And I'm like. The we'll do, fuck we'll is do, this? Yeah, it's not about like dude. Like some of the yeah. most, some of the most Spot. popular songs that I remember. Sí, you know what that word means? Uh, I just assumed it was desperate. I don't know what it means. It means slowly. And that's all it means. I never looked it up. I just thought I was like, is that this? song is so fucking bad. It's crazy, dog. It, it it like it really is. It's so bad. It's crazy. Like understanding even half the words in that song is like this song is so fucking bad. Oh, lyrically, yeah, lyrically. Yeah, I, like, say, I, like, I think it's a pretty decent melody. Oh, melody wise, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's actually very good. Actually, you know, like, yeah. that's why it succeeds. What's that one song? Is it? I think uh, it was uh, Enrique Iglesias. Um, uh, in later in his career, I can't, uh, am I gonna say the wrong l- l- name? I think it's. Bailando, bailando, oh, bailando, bailando, yeah, bailando. Like that guy. I don't know who that guy that's singing that hook, but I'm like, that's a fucking catchy hook, and it sounds good. Well, like dude, I'm like versus like Despacito. Like yeah. I'm saying, like yeah, yeah. I just remember like growing up, there were a lot of songs that were just like the, oh, if you listen to know. the lyrics of a lot of those songs, like in Spanish houses, it's just literally like La Vaca. And it's like okay, cool. <laughs> What the fuck? You know what that means, right? It means cow. It just cow. It just means cow. It's literally just the cow. The cow. The cow. Let's go. The milk. The milk. (laughs) Bull. And it's like, what the fuck is that's all? This is a staple song (laughs) in households. There was a there was a Latin um, Latin. uh, I think it was. I think no no shade to Latino music, bro. As a dude, I grew up listening to it all the time. I have danced bachata with my grandma to La Rebion. Fucking like. A billion times. That was like Sunday morning. She'd be cooking. I'd walk in. My grandma, I'm really hungry. Please stop fucking dancing and feed me. And then she would force me to dance with her. And I'd be like, that's <laughs> cool. Now I'm tired and hungry and still haven't eaten. She'd be like, I'll feed you in a little bit. I'll feed you. You know what I think it is? I think, I think because, well, I mean, it's it's more about the sonic, like the sound of oh, it. Oh, sonically. Yeah, sure. It's, and I think because Spanish, I mean, respectfully, everything rhymes. So it's not really rhymes. like it's like I mean <laughs> it really kind of the, like everything really genuinely does rhyme with everything else and so like there's kind of no real there's no real skill I mean, in expressing I'm, anything in no, Spanish I think, music I think it exists I think it exists but obviously it's it's, it's not as strict as English probably English that's it it's English not quite is as strict. English as a language is more sonically diverse than Spanish, Spanish is. Yes. And because sure. of that, lyricism is a lot more impressive to engage in and a lot more, uh, it, it just it hits a little bit more. But there is really good, sp- I think I would say even Bad Bunny has made really good Spanish music. But the problem is that <laughs> yeah, well, that's not going to be where everybody heard him here. I for, like you know? one of his most popular songs. I just can't, like, it's not coming well, to my mind right now. Or is it like um, uh, um, what you call the Puerto Benito? Like, uh, um, shit. It's. Give me the, give me the melody. It's not. It's funny. The music video is in my head more than the melody right now. It's really? like I think it's in like a darker room. It's like it almost looks. Oh, fuck. The name is like Dell. Oh, fuck. I can't remember. Hold on. Let me. If I go to Bad Bunny's thing, I'm pretty sure All I can right. pull it up right we away. We gotta. Let's let's. Uh, yeah, do it up. I'm just gonna pull. Let's it up let's in the get us, get ourselves out of here. We got. We're gonna read our. What do you call? Twenty five dollar and up patrons. Come, come, much come, appreciated. Come, 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 come. Coming, three, two, one. The Adventures of Wait, hold on. Let me make sure this is real. <laughs> the Adventures of Cocky and Toe Winkles. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Come on my toes. Come <laughs> on my toes. Oh my I'm god. The, the Adventures of Blackton Keys and Sergeant Jean Sun. Uh, international PDF file training to shit fifty yards. Imagine if you could shit fifty yards. That would oh my god, cool. <laughs> that's not even useful. Yeah, in what, in what way is that? it not? How is it useful? What would you do with that? Who do with that? You would shit fifty yards. What do you mean? From yeah. where? In your in your in your house that you can't get fifty yards away from, from your toilet. To yeah, shit? but the I distance you that you don't have will be made up for with power with power at the distance that you can hit. You get so a, if you sit straight down on a toilet and shit 50 yards worth of strength hard, you'll get up off the toilet and mm-hmm, float. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you the get na- popcorn out of your fucking thing. However you say that, Dakiti or whatever, I have no idea how you fucking say that. It's that song. Do you remember this one? No. Wait, I'll play the hook. Dakiti? If I play the hook, you'll remember it. I'll get to the Will hook. we get dinged for that? 
I mean, I'm oh, not, yeah. not going to play for like, like, the La 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 la. La 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 and then Gears we'll be in the background just jacking Gears off. Gears of, of War, doing. Nendroid, number 2553. Um, I love charging. I love the idea of Marcus charging Phoenix. up. No because Kanye. it doesn't actually Don't do say anything. that. The Jews are not gay. <laughs> I'm just trying to do like killer instinct combos in real life on women. You're wasting, you're wasting energy, in fact, holding your hand Vaughn of the totally. dead. <laughs> do you know what this spells? Gotti, round-eyed agent, slender man's pansexual brother, I like every genderman. You are my... Uh, Brown eyed Asian or oh, round eyed Asian, whatever. Call it is. me it Jared really nice. Fogle the way I lose this weight. Phallic Boldween and the and Comaton waved guns in the finale of Fresh Prince. <laughs> Stop. That, shit was, that. that shit was killing me. I think I'm going to make that into a clip. Oh, that'd be good. Carlton waving a gun around in the fucking hospital is amazing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who the hell would miss Trump's <laughs> fat head like that? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that is one of the questions. Like immediately, like not oh, con- oh. not condoning anything, but like I really did think, like, how do you mi- like? Because even because even the diagram that showed like what it would be if he got hit is a really bad shot. So he, still, do you know how he? You know how we know uh, this is all real and not a conspiracy? That kid didn't make his rifle team, which is crazy that they even had that in high school. What are you talking about? Oh, and, he didn't make his rifle. Yeah. Ah. He was such a hilariously... So one of his students, one of the, his peers, that was interviewed. And he was like, he didn't even make his rifle team. He was so... He said the words hilariously like bad. Like he was so bad that in the first day... He left because there was no shot he was going to make the team because he was that bad of a shot. So then it's funny that it turned out this way because of how shitty he was at shooting. He probably never learned how to shoot properly. Probably never, like, he just never learned. That is so funny. That is really funny So he was the guy to do it, and he was, like, one of the only people that would have (laughs) missed. Because that was, like, the standard... Uh, 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 just the v- minimum you 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 have to know how to shoot. Did that you see the video? Be- did you see the video of him t- saying uh, that he had a ten inch penis? I did. Yeah, I did. I did. He was like, "I'm this. I'm um, I'm six feet ten or something, yeah. and I have a ten. We inch can verify penis. this. Oh, I'm six foot four, and I have a ten inch penis. We can verify this now. Yeah. Oh, and the conspiracies went wild, dude. He was in one of those uh black uh, rock black, ads. Black yeah. rock ads. That's crazy. Yeah, that's he, actually he was wild. actually. Yeah, so there was like a a, a YouTube. There's a Black Rock um, advertisement, and so people are like, and they're like, "Hey, it is him. It's that fucking goofy ass kid that looks fucking weird." Poor kid, man. I wish. Poor kid. Yeah, dude. Because clearly, no one does that if they're they're well, mentally was, sound. You he know? was. No yeah, he was relentlessly bullied. Yeah, he no was one, relentless, no one does that mentally sound. You know, he as, was relentlessly bullied, and people are like, "Well, okay, well, I guess." Well, that shit. That shit, dude. That shit happens, man. I was bullied for a little while until I was I was younger, and I fucking yeah. What it turns you into is not good because it makes yeah. you aggr- like. For me, it made me aggressive. Yeah, and that's where the bullying uh, in the in those areas, in those bumfuck areas, that's where the bullying is relentless. Because yeah, growing up in um where I grew up, there was bullying, but not in the type of midwestern type of bumfuck bullying. Where, where you, you get see. bullied to the point you're isolated. You know yeah. that shit is crazy, man. Yeah, it didn't happen where we were. No, I'm not, sure it not did. The I'm same, sure not, it not did, the same way. Bully. Not the same way. You would get bullied. You would get picked on. You wouldn't get bullied. Yeah, yeah there's a difference. Very right? mild. I got picked on, right? And then I punched a kid in his face, and I broke his nose. And I stopped getting picked on. <laughs> yeah, like I you never know, stuff like that. Happened. I never got like shoved into like a like, we didn't have yeah, shoved like, in. You didn't see that shit. Or just like this, this every time you try to interact with somebody, they completely degrade and demoralize you. Know, that yeah. Shit is. Rough, I told dude. I told this story on the podcast like a long time ago. There was this kid who would like constantly physically accost me on the bus. Like he wouldn't beat me up or anything. He would just like push me. And like there was one point where he like. Grab my head and hit it against like the uh, what is it the um a window no not the window <laughs> the 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 uh, <laughs> the um just the the chairs uh, or not the chairs the um the seats on the fucking school buses like the mm-hmm. padded seats it wasn't even like forceful in a way that would like hurt it was just like annoying it was like just a complete nuisance yeah and I put up with it for like a good like eight months because I was like all right I'm just you know trying not to fight here. Also, the way they deal with bullying in schools is fucking horrible. But then the last, like, the last day of school, I, I holy shit, the last dude. week of school, like, yeah. he did it again, and I was just like, all right, 
Yeah. <laughs> I turned around and I hit him in the face. Just fucked his ass. Into the window. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he's a kid. Derek. He flipped Stop. him around. Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's a kid too. There's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make it much better though. <laughs> if he was like, if he was the bus driver, it would have been weird. <laughs> It would have been weird, not too bad. Would have been weird. I got, I got your back, Chris. I sometimes <laughs> wonder, like, <laughs> dude, you know what was crazy about that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I haven't thought about this in a in a while as deeply, but like, it is kind of crazy because that experience was such an animal kingdom moment. Because he he would pick on me. He was like way taller than me. And then we were getting off the bus. I turned around, decked him in the head. His head smashed against the window. Started bleeding and crying. And then I walked out, went to fucking first period. And then we had summer vacation. It was like three days before the last day of school. They didn't suspend me or anything. It was like, there's no, look, whatever. Just don't do that again. And then the next year, he tried to like be my friend. Mm. Yeah, that's like all. actually because like, he reflected. Like he was like nice to me all of a sudden, and he, he was, was like, like, "Hey, you want to get lunch?" I was like, uh, "What? Are you fucking insane?" Yeah, you you uh, you earned his respect. Did you become his friend? No. That might have been an ally. I completely I ignored it. Then he vanished. Like yeah. three, he, he actually didn't come back to <laughs> Literally school. Literally vanished. He actually didn't come back to school like three weeks into the year, I think, or something oh, wow. like that. Some weird thing. Like he, I just never saw him again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, or maybe he, maybe he drove to school from then on. <laughs> <'Cause he didn't laughs> but like it was that was the weirdest thing because I was like, now that I think about it, I was like that is straight up animal shit. That's how you do it. Where you like, become friends with somebody I fought. You got to earn never. a bully's respect, man. Oh, like, no. You got you to gotta, you gotta fight. You got to. Dude, I don't think you. Violence is not the answer when it can be truly avoided. But I've seen it way too often where kids literally sometimes got to stand up. Well, sometimes because what, what do bullies? Bullies pick on weak people who they perceive as weak. Yeah, yeah. So then if you if you are not perceived as weak, you have earned their respect and they'll leave you alone. Granted, most of the time, bullies get fucked up by other people. Because that shit happens very often, too. One kid that thinks they're a big shit bully... They come to because I went. I went to school. Was kind of near the ghetto-ish area, and like there was these kids that were air quotes bullies, and then one of the kids that was a drug dealer in our school beat the fuck out of that bully, and I was like, "Damn, <laughs> you did that to yourself." Yeah, you I mean, just, did, you just right. didn't. You just didn't have to be that way. It is and a he chain, caught right? You slip it, and he fucked you up, dude. It happens, man. That's and he was mad nice. He was like, "Yo, he's good, man. Don't worry about it." And I was like, "That kid got beat up really bad," <laughs> and we literally like all stood by the gym doors. So the teachers couldn't get in. So they were like trying to get in. And we were just like, we were all just looking back at them, like rattling the door. That's we crazy. Like, <laughs> you guys were blocking. Oh, hell yeah, dude. If they're going to fight, get your get your licks in. You know, don't. <laughs> That's why I think every child should be put into, uh, like, learn how to defend themselves a little bit. Yeah, because of you course. Need, yeah, you yeah. know how to defend yourself. Oh, for sure. For sure. It is really important to be able to fight back because some if, you, <laughs> if you're nice, <laughs> if you're nice, you're going to get picked on, dude. I'm sorry. It's that the fucking teacher that they had that, like, weapon class or whatever and she like let the kids swing around like a, a real katana do you remember that no that happened recently this was like a few months ago dude uh, it's so funny though thinking about like when we were kids because i remember hearing older people talk about like oh yeah when we were kids our parents just let us do fucking whatever and i remember being like oh yeah we we had we were a little bit more structured and then i think about the fact that me jalen paul and joe Made a video where we were swinging real swords at each other. And someone slipped on a sword, like like real, <laughs> like with no pre, like we were improvising sword fights with real swords, yeah. improvising in with the real backyard. Swords. And our parents were like, "Were they oh, live swords? Them. They were real. They would have killed you for sure, or at least damaged you severely. They like they were duller. Like they weren't like prime sharpened swords or anything, but they weren't fucking like blunt." Like it's it's kind I played of with the live sword one time and that shit changed my mind about. We swords were instantly. improvising sword fights in the backyard and our, and the adults were like, "Oh, look at them! They're oh. making movies. Oh, how cute!" It is kind of crazy. <laughs> if I think about it, like really, like that, I was like, "That's wild." Yeah. What's this? Check this out. This is the article. So, New Mexico teacher had students duel with swords in class, leading to serious injury of teen girl. No the shit. The teen girl, then sixteen, suffered a large, deep laceration across her right hand and wrist, and her family. She actually lost a lig like a ligament got uh, severed. So, like, that, in school. What the fuck class is that? I don't know. Fucking battle? I don't know what school it is. It's I don't know what battle class, class. It was probably uh, home ec or something. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cooking. You mean, now that you guys have finished making your stromboli, take your katanas out and please commence battle. Did you guys spend $200 on a katana like I asked you to? <laughs> yes. Do you remember that in school? Like yeah, being can asked you, to Can you spend? please buy this thing? And I'm like, no. <laughs> you buy it. I just, I, that is, I don't know. Like, how does stuff, that's why I say this is, we are in Sims. Because that, <laughs> that that should only happen in Sims. What teacher is like, hey, here are razor sharp katanas fight in class. Razor. 
Like I was like, I, people don't understand how fucking sharp swords are. Like yeah. real swords. When you use right, a line gotta, or a gun, when you gotta, use a line or a gun, if you drop, we gotta move forward though. Four inches, they, they it's gonna get cr- in you. <laughs> Like, it's fucking crazy. Uh, Blair White canonically banging Alex Jones. <laughs> I, I 1,000% believe that happened. I, yeah, I think I so, think too. I think he definitely... You know what's crazy? I found out that she blocked me. She blocked you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I've never said anything about... I mean, I've thought things about it. Yeah. But, like, I've never said anything, <laughs> you know? Interesting. I've never I wonder, said them out loud. I'd, 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 I'll check and see if I'm... Because I, I only know that I'm blocked by No, it Worski. said you were following her, it says. Oh, so she hasn't blocked me. So she hasn't blocked you, I don't think. But, like, I, I, I went... Because I saw a tweet of her trending... Uh, oh, because you said some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she and I was like, oh, I want like, and I like going to, I like going to those accounts to read the replies because it's like really, I don't know, something. Yeah, I feel <laughs> it like makes me feel about those replies. It yeah. makes me feel incredibly smart, right. and it's yeah, like it's yeah, a really yeah, nice yeah, ego course. boost. And so I, I, I went to go read it, and it said this user is blocked, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Weird. I wonder why. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, I haven't. I, I feel like I haven't said anything like that. that was like specific. I don't think so either. But you guess she's just like, oh, you're, you're so woke. I wonder if it was my L three joke. Oh, you think it might have been recently? Yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like I've clicked on her profile like somewhat recently in the last like year dude, at least. Dude, it, dude, Project 47. No, sorry, that's 225. Uh, fuck, Agenda 47. Hey, it's 47 in your hat. Hey. Um, uh, Agenda 47 is going to, on the first day, make transgender people not. It's going to make them illegal. <laughs> like, like legitimately that like say. That's her problem. <laughs> but that's the thing where it's like. You? Why would you support this guy yeah, that know, thinks whatever. you should oh, not you know exist? What it is? You know, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Know, here's the thing. Here's, know, the thing. Know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's something. I know. And I, this is speculative, but it's it's interesting. Is that I have not on this podcast or anywhere on stream, even on Twitter. I don't think. I don't think I've said a negative thing about Blair White really at all. I've been pretty respectful because I used to know her. It's like I disagree with her a lot. Sure. Uh, but whatever. Sure. You know what I mean. The only thing that I can imagine that I have said is that I remember getting contacted a long, long time ago by, I don't know if it was like a conservative think tank or whatever through like email to do or keep doing what I was doing, you know, in quotes, uh, in exchange for a large sum of money. And I did not do that. And I I made like a TikTok, I think like a a year ago where I kind of joked about it. How like, yeah, there's probably a lot of people who took that money, you know? And then suddenly I'm blocked mm. by one of the people who, I mean, is quite frankly just a little too passionate about this for it not to be monetary. Like, I don't know, dude. I didn't, I've never said anything, but yeah. I find that timing like mega suspicious. Because yeah. why would you not be blocked yeah. when we're on the same show? You're way more like... Yeah. Like... <laughs> if, I, Look, I, don't know, I, I, just, I think she got wind of it. And I think she, I, that's very I, true. Like, if look, if look, I didn't take the money, I wouldn't have been offended by it. Right. So like, I, I don't know. I, Something I, like that. Like it because it is it's like, a little weird. We've also um, Blair and I, we've collabed uh, a couple of times, like actually on my channel. We do like Twitter trash things. Mm-hmm. And uh, so maybe there's still like because I, I imagine she must know by now that like we are completely on opposite ends of everything. Right. Right. Like say like say we couldn't collab anymore because it would yeah. I would just it would really just be oh wow asking questions because we've talked even behind the scenes of she told me and she said this publicly so it's I'm not it's not any insider information she at the time told me. Oh, I've learned X, Y, and Z is fake. Crowder's fake. All these people are fucking fake. Oh as shit. yeah, yeah. She said that publicly now, and so like I was like, oh wow, she gets it. I didn't expect her to just go. On yeah, that. I, I didn't know. expect that. I, and look, I, I don't know if she like actually is one of the people who took that money. I just yeah, think it, I just think I, it's I, weird I, that I would be blocked for no reason. It is especially as somebody who's not said anything. It's curious. Not that I care, whatever. Yeah, like, we, we've not spoken in ever in it's, um, ages, so you know, it's see, not a big deal. But I just, uh, yeah, yeah, I just personally, at whenever I've, regardless of her politics, whenever we've hung out, it's Sorry. been she's been nothing but cool. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's so that, so that's, what, what's that's that? what, what are you laughing at? What I wonder you, why. I wonder why. I wonder why I, I want to hang out with this person. We have a conversation. and We agree on everything, but on the social what's media, this? it's a, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you because it's I fucking understand. wild. I mean, you can't make you a reaction. Take my phone. Yeah, my phone rings. <laughs> you grab it and answer. He's not here right now. Yeah, shut up, bitch. <laughs> That's such a crazy move. That was you, like, we were talking about that, right? The, the, the character that we control. We invented like a mat. Let's say hypothetically, you're chilling with your friends or whatever. You got like you have your phone. Yeah, it's like next to you. It rings. 
And then you just <laughs> yeah. like, how much would that freak you, you out? How much would that? How much would that offset your day? That would freak me out a little bit because I'm like, why the fuck? What? Is, that's such a that's such an aggressive way to intrude on my business. Or he, yeah, like, he, he texts them you on your phone. He's, what do you do? <laughs> I do like it's your idea. mom. I love the idea of answering someone's phone casually. Yeah. That is so disrespectful. I've wanted. I've wanted. <laughs> and I've, stone face. <laughs> Hello. I've wanted to be in that position, but I haven't found like I've. I've just not been around it. But I've been I'm, waiting for that moment because I want to do it because I, I, I just. I just really want to see so wild. what the reaction is. I'm too physically imposing to do stuff like that because then, then I would start. I would that, that switch the switch. You know, like I've suppressed myself because I think. I'm actually a bad person, genuinely. Yes, you are. But yes. I tricked myself into thinking I'm a good person. So mm. when I start doing bad things, yeah, I'm like, oh, I like this. This is who I've always been. And then I'm gonna be at a fucking what you go? I'm gonna be at a rally shooting a gun in the year, being like, let's do what we gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> let's do what we gotta anyway. do. <laughs> Inciting riots. Right, we gotta speed through this because I have a hard out. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You said yeah. Let's get out. Oh my god, my bad, dude. No, it's all right. We can do it. Google uh, and read the Charlie Brown remember, comic like, strip uh, for November 6th, 1974. Femboy Sauron, Lord Mordor. Yeah, gotcha. No, we're good. I'll, I'll, we'll I'll speak after. I, gotcha. I uh, Ares, destroy Israel. My life is yours. Using cum to... Ca- using cum for a counter blackface cosplay. Oh insane. How is even white like that? Yeah, it's more <laughs> like, like it's like more opaque than it's, anything it's, it's, else. It's like more like the color of a, it's more like the color of a faded ghost. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, mine looks a little yellow. <laughs> oh, I don't have a yellow tinge to mine. Mine has stripes in it. You may need some of my antibiotics, sir. <laughs> I'm good, bro. It's, All right. It's not cum. It's pus. <laughs> oh my god. My cum is fucking Neapolitan, bro. You, you need it's antibiotics. Crazy. Bad. Jack the world's <laughs> fastest Maori roasted crazy. maple neck supremacy. Um, uh, big meaty stinks. Andy the man whose handies are now eight tier but not as dandy. Retardy Oswald. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what they're calling yeah. him now. The <laughs> thing, the guy that no, they, yeah, yeah. They, so um, of course Reddit and shit. That is yeah, awesome. Him, uh, yeah, uh, retardy Oswald. Oh, yeah, I'm, that's right. I'm so upset. I'm I didn't sorry think that I that. forgot about that. Yeah. Oh fuck. I that's... learned it on. I was watching a stream yesterday, and then I learned about it. Oh, like, that's excellent. so good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Retardy Oswald. <laughs> JFK was shot in the neck first to destroy his Sonichu medallion. That's uh, crazy. And it didn't work. Heath Smoker. <laughs> Giz, <laughs> it bounced it off. Uh, what is this? Giz, Sonichu? I don't understand what this is. It looks What's cool. It? I guess I'll wear it. <laughs> Sweeney's, Sweeney's beard uh, looks sprayed Ew. on. My beard doesn't look great. It doesn't come in full all the way. I hate it, dude. I mean, no, your beard looks pretty good. Just shave it. I'm not, I'm not shaving yet. Yeah, I think. Give myself you, one more week. You look a lot better with you the just beard. Just give yourself a big beard. Why not? You just keep <laughs> just going. Go Rick Ross. Shave my head and put it yeah, all on. No, just, just, just get, go, go into your beard era. Do, do the Rick Ross. Shave head, big beard. Mm. Yeah. Be an I interesting would, look, switch up. I would love to see It'd how. Be like when Andy Milanakis put on the blue shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shave your head, but grow your beard out. I want to see how big you can get. I guess it and sucks. Just, just fucking just kind of sh- give you a little fade. Get, get cleaned up. I was faded a week ago, which is crazy. My hair grew back that fast. Yeah, your hair grows too fast. Faded. It's crazy. <laughs> you're born faded. That's true. He is Jamaican. Damn. That's Jamaican. I bought a clot. The air is just weed over there. Isn't that true? It's, dude. Dude, smoking culture Sw- in Jamaica is Sweeney so makes fucking my crazy, skin dude. And my snake solid. Sweeney looks like he rolls around on in carpets. What? Why are y'all um, being mean to me? What mean. the fuck? <laughs> Many carpets. men wish, uh, wish death upon Trump. Blood, blood on my ear. Serve around. Did you see that? Hi, we whatever. We don't have time. Yeah. Sucking Mr. Rogers, twelve inch cock. Damn. Seven six. It's true. Seven six one six seven seven six seven oh one. I don't know. Don't call that. I guess. Uh, ben Shapiro moans when his finger goes through the toilet paper. Mr. Pants. True. Sween. What's your favorite Magic uh, cards and Commander to play? Oh, so far, um, Keeper of the Fells. And um, amazing. Ben. Baller of the first sin. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so passive aggressive. I play werewolves a lot in freaking Match the Gathering. They're my favorite. It's really fun. Baller of the first sin, cardboard pie, spumba futters, a Linkara putting out his pulling out his trusty magic gun at the Trump rat. Oh my god, if Linkara was <laughs> the one. Uh Jolly old dipshit. They tried to make me go retard, but I said nur nur nur. Uh May thy load drip and splatter, cyphergraph coming kidney stones like a machine gun. Uh, speed, speed up, fuck me fast, 
Load me up with cum so I can fill a glass. Hurry up, boy. I don't need no sass. Now speed it up. Fuck my ass. Don't know what song that is. Snake uh, saves the kids from the trans agenda featuring Revolver Rittenhouse and the Bud Light Factory. Hunter Dubois, uh, holy, mo- holy, mo- ho- eh. holy Moonlight Great Ford, Ford F-150. Eli Frost, Martian Manfucker. Nice. nice. Shakira, so gaily it. when you fuck my ass, F-150. you make my penis get fat. A penis for a queer butt. A uh, penis. <laughs> when you're sucking and fucking my body. What are you doing? Why is that light? Why? What? What? Do architects are fucking weird, dude? What? Oh, you didn't see it. It looks like a pussy. What's a? No. Uh, the, oh. The, 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 the the structure. I actually saw the. I actually saw the people. <laughs> I saw a picture of people. That's a good sign. I guess. That's a good sign that you're not know. a fucking. You're not a freak you're not, pervert. You're not a. Well, no. Now that I see it, I'm really stiff. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> He's <laughs> not standing up doing Bro, that show would be cool Willie's asparagus drinking piss dealer You must go to the bodega system Oops, I grew tits because I'm a woman now We're unfully exonerated Help me, Art. I'm stuck <laughs> in a well Would you be okay if Marvel made Black Panther white? I don't understand why you guys gargle semen all day Just because just They say because that's gay But gay's okay, no rain She pipkin on my pippa Coming in the name of El Chris El, nice. El Chris Esputo um, True. No way I'm hanging out with a couple of gooners. A couple of gooners. <laughs> uh, insisting that Brile is a stand-up guy. Motherfucker went from sketch to cash real fast. Just a hard R. I fall asleep to N-word compilations. That's insane. <laughs> um, Gordon yeah. Ramsay, uh, Lobster Bisque Victim Memorial Fund. Oof. Um, oh, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. You don't remember we were talking about... Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. That 10-second clip of Meek Mill telling The Rock to get up had me laughing for months, and now I hate it. Uh, Transfem Gremlin, exposing people with like thousand dollars, 90 million rogers of ionizing radiation. You, sh- Craig the Canadian, I, I still feel your cum when you bust inside me. I feel, I still feel the sperm on my teeth. <laughs> That's insane. Whoa. Um, like, That's like mint. It's your boy, Shawnee D. Uh, the short term, the term short king is a false motivational phrase created by Big Short. <laughs> Big Short. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's a movie, The Big Short. It is. Uh, it's not about, not about this at all. Uh, hook up uh, my car battery to a dead hooker's clit and nose ring. Call her Frankenstein's whore. Sell her on eBay for for a neat five. Three X O. Unbelievably sad that Trump Wilkes shoot barely missed their mark and graze his head. J- <laughs> uh, George Lucas firing an RPG at the Goodyear blimp because it rhymes. Namor rolling SpongeBob up and using him as a flashlight, dumping him and dumping him. Dumping what's Stop left of him in the in the chum bucket. Slurping, stroking, joking, smoking. Emoticons going like this. Drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip. Gay Bill O'Reilly be like, fuck it, we'll do it gay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it gay. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it gay. We'll do fuck it. it. Gay. That's awesome. That is such a wild fucking video, man. I love it. A tag team match with Alex and I'm Alex and P. Diddy versus Dr. Disrespect and EDP 445. Obi, won't you blow me? Kremlin the Gremlin, the rotten old Jimmy Dick. Uh... Uh, Evil Sween says I love the gays. Yes, you said uh, you said that I'm gay. Yes, Tobey Maguire's Spider Man is older than me. Um, Wild. It's not a Wawa. It's a convenience store. You cunts. <laughs> Punching Chucky in the back of his head while I molest him. <laughs> oh wow! Like the doll? Or I like don't the know. I, I hope, like the rug rat. Oh, I, hope no. I hope it's the doll. You know, like my man oh, went to the doll. I, my, my, I went to the doll too. Because why would you do that to Chucky for rug rat? Oh Chucky Finch is such a nice kid, for man. Everything. Chucky Finch is fucking Chucky finished. The child. Uh, <laughs> Wage, Wage Slave five eighty three. Papini Bros and uh, Games uh, presents Seinfeld versus Zoe seventy two. Newman of the night man. Uh, Donk Donkerson, <laughs> listen to Hit My Spot by Your Pretty Hands. I'm one of the best original gay songs I've ever heard. Pussy, you gotta play, pay the troll so again. The voice hole, Gate pussy. Six, Solid Snake, tweeting about how the woke mod took over the military pussy, and he can't say though. slurs anymore. PP. In an earlier name, He's Asian, I was right? I was putting up ah, PP in the beginning so so just to identify it as me. So. That's smart. Kimmy. Um, right? I think so. Uh, killer Instinct announcer voice. Supreme racism. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme also, racism. Also a good second name for this podcast at this point. Yeah. Yeah. We're not that racist. That. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Ray William Johnson, 1981 uh, to 2024. What? Did he finally die? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, that's please crazy. Don't put that voodoo out there if he's I know. Still we're going to do it. it, it this, he's, that's going to happen. Yeah. He's going to die at a rally. I'm I'm gay and I need I'm in need of a guide. I, if I don't get semen, I'll die. You can feel my behinds. You can I'm see my intestines. I'm in need um, of a guy. Me be fishy, speaking incantations to the pussy. Call that a spirit box. Doctor Kid inspect. 
I'll carpet bomb the Gaza Strip for a quarter. John Strickland, my partner, snapped the, the chair legs up on Chris Reagan U2s and proceeded to, uh, to tear my legs off in self-defense. Mm-hmm. Mercs 1889, fat tanks really just exist to stonewall their hot friends. That's crazy. Mm. Um First Church of Keith David uh, presents Dr. Disrespect's Careless Whispers. Second Church of Keith David featuring being better than the First Church of Keith David pre Raz. Somebody once squirted on my mother's ashes. Blake 896. FYI, it's been over a year and Mama JF is still missing. At, what, at this point, how many pieces do you think she's in? Uh, Chris trying to read like bah, 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 bah. Crazy that Starlight got surgery, but Adrian Brody just looks like that. Alaskan oil field trash. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Alaskan oil field trash. Texas Tater Salad. French. Young Sheldon. He does look French. That's all. He just looks Depressingly French. French. <laughs> yeah. um, Texas Tater Salad. Young Sheldon with two planes crashing onto him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Sue Hulk took on my ass here. Nikki Ziggy, Ghost of JoJo. Um, hey. Schadenfreude Slip. Uh, sorry, Miss Jackson, Badly Brave, Hunger Derek, Duck Hunt, The Vegan Egg Ransom. I got consent. Aetherian, Brazilian Puncher, Nafrim, Melfus One. I busted my hands again last week, but the doctor just was too tempting. And uh, running out of our list, King of Hap Hazard. Woo! Goodbye. We got to get out of here. Yeah. Bye bye.